LibertyBeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 10th, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,229, silver around $17.06, and Bitcoin is trading around $352.28. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by eFoods Direct Storable Food. With a menu of food that's so good, so easy to make, you'll find yourself eating it every day even though it has a shelf life of up to 25 years. Visit eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 and mention Liberty Beat to get a 10% listener discount. In the news, on Tuesday, Senator Dianne Feinstein presented the Senate Intelligence Committee's summary of the report on torture by the CIA. Senate Intelligence Committee staff reviewed the treatment of 119 people, with at least 39 of them being tortured. The 499-page summary details torture of detainees between January of 2003 and August of 2003. Some of the techniques include water dousing, ice water baths, subjection to nudity, dietary manipulation, insult slaps, abdominal slaps, attention grafts, facial holds, walling, and stress positions. The CIA called the report inaccurate, while the White House did its best to remain neutral. A letter released through a Freedom of Information Act request has revealed that former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger pressured the Indian government to accept a settlement for the 1984 gas disaster in Bhopal. Kissinger, who was serving as an advisor to Union Carbide, pressured India's Prime Minister to accept an agreement following the disaster that killed 25,000 people. Activists in Bhopal obtained a letter from Indian steel magnate J.R.D. Tata to India's Prime Minister, which stressed Kissinger's desire for a deal to be reached. Following Kissinger's encouragement, the Indian government agreed to a settlement of $470 million and dropped all charges against Union Carbide. Today's broadcast of the Liberty Beat is made possible by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 10th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. On Tuesday, an Egyptian pro-democracy activist was sentenced to three years in prison for insulting the court after he accused the judge of bias. Ahmed Dama was a prominent activist in the 2011 Arab Spring and has been accused of attacking a government building and security officers. Dama called the charges political and denounced the trial. Indigenous groups living on both sides of the Brazil-Peru border in the Amazon say they're ready to fight with spears, bows, and arrows if oil companies attempt to enter their territories. The Matsis of Brazil and Peru have been opposing Canadian-based Pacific Rubialis Synergy for at least five years, with little support or attention from government agencies. Villagers told Intercontinental Cry that they would take up arms if their concerns are not heard. The Matsi signed a declaration detailing the impact oil operations would have on the community and the environment. The Houston, Texas Police Department will investigate the actions of one of its officers caught on camera attempting to delete video footage after arresting a man who was open carrying a firearm. The unidentified man was stopped by an HPD officer and handcuffed for not having identification while carrying an AR-15. He was filming during the entire confrontation. After placing the man in the back of the vehicle, the officer can be seen attempting to delete the footage from the camera. And the well-known and widely used peer-to-peer -peer file sharing website, The Pirate Bay, has been knocked offline. That follows a police raid that was conducted on the company's Stockholm, Sweden premises. Today's broadcast of Liberty Beat made possible by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 10th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile.
The FAA has issued a reminder that any plane can crash and kill you. Deputy FAA Administrator Serena Grant. This year there will be more flights than ever. Any one of them could blow up in the middle of the sky without warning. That's why we're asking all Americans to tell their families that they love them before taking off. The agency also released a list of important questions to ask yourself or your seatmate during your flight, including should the wing be doing that? What is that whirring noise? And do all planes shake this much? They're reminding passengers that even the smallest amount of turbulence could mean you're headed toward a sudden explosive death. While hurtling through the sky at unimaginable speeds in a steel coffin can feel like gambling with your life, the FAA says there are ways to regain the illusion of control. If you're worried about crashing, why not switch your flight at the last second? It might just save your life or kill you depending on which plane crashes. And for those who aren't flying this holiday, the FAA has reminded everyone that a plane could fall out of the sky right on top of you at any moment. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. Dial in toll free and take control of the airwaves. 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. You can join us online. Drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we have there for you. You can actually create the content that you see there at freetalklive.com. Maybe there's some sort of news item or blog post, perhaps a YouTube video, something you want to share with us and our listeners. You just submit it there to the front page of the site. Go to freetalklive.com. You can vote on the things that are already there that have been submitted by other listeners. Vote it up if you like and down if you don't. With you in the studio tonight, you've got Ian. Cantwell. And Mark. All right, so again, toll-free number 855-450-FREE. You may also join us via Skype. Our username there is lrn.fm. So if you want to sound even better, send us a contact request on Skype. We'll approve it, and you can call us easily from that point forward. Well, the police, they're still in the news, and apparently much to the chagrin of some officers, Chris Cantwell has found a story, an editorial piece by a, apparently a police officer who is really complaining about uh, how things, they are changing as far as how people respect the police. Yeah, he's uh, he seems to be kind of upset that, that people don't like him. And uh, so today he said... Uh, he stopped caring today. And uh, yeah. He got a blog article out there about that. I want to hear about Wonderful, that. Wonderful uh, of civil servants that just don't care about how they do their job anymore. <laughs> right. Well, some of these guys are really honest about their opinions online, and I think it's really interesting. It's got to be very difficult to do this job. You've been doing things the way you've been doing things for the whole time you've been doing them, and now suddenly America appears to hate your ass and i suddenly I, well <laughs> come on sure now. no no not absolutely sudden. not absolutely not ian just because you have had an opinion about law enforcement and abuses of power up to this point does not mean that the rest of the zeitgeist has been behind you i didn't say that but i'm just saying that it hasn't been sudden it's been a long time coming and police are constantly being uh you know presented with people who don't appreciate them sure I mean, in the middle of their job all day long they're dealing with people who don't appreciate yes, but those are the them. bad guys well, to them, they're the bad guys. And now it's starting to expand out beyond just the people who they're they're trying yeah, to pe arrest. People are getting annoyed with the police before they become the victims of the police now. And that's, yes. you know, I think, uh, you know, that is a more recent phenomenon. But it is, uh, it is as Ian said, a long time coming. So I, I don't disagree with that statement at all. But it has to be really frustrating if you're a law enforcement officer and you feel like you've been doing your job the way you're supposed to do your job yeah, for this babies. long. And then suddenly, well, I know how you feel, man. Man, but I'm just saying, hey, guess what? You can only bash so many heads and arrest so many innocent, peaceful people before somebody's going to start to get upset. And I'm not suggesting that all cops are bad, but I am. We don't have any evidence that the good cops <laughs> are actually out there. I mean, whenever you see the the lone story about the good, supposedly good cop, like the cop who, uh, you know, one of the more noteworthy ones was the cop in Florida, South Florida, who arrested another cop. It was a it was a state trooper who arrested a like a regular cop. I think it was BSO Bra cop. Broward. 
at sheriff's office uh, for speeding, going over 100 something miles an hour regularly in the same plot of road. So she was able 100 to 100 to 120. She was able to wait for him on the next night or whatever and caught him doing it again. On the interstate. Uh, it was after that that the police started to harass this woman who is also a cop and and stalk her and do searches on her within the police systems that you know you're not supposed to do unless you actually have a legitimate reason to search uh, somebody's personal information and you know basically harass her and try to intimidate her and her family so you know that's the reason why if there are good cops out there they're cowering in the shadows well they because probably, they're afraid to death of these cops who aren't afraid to bash someone's head in they probably have turned people into um, internal affairs and that sort of thing and seen nothing happen uh, maybe maybe they've done it more than once and they've just come to the conclusion there's no point in this well exactly and- uh I, I, but you know they have they have other benefits too. I, I think that you were looking at a piece earlier that they're letting each other off for DUIs. You know, and being able to get away with drunk driving is a nice perk of being a cop. Apparently, uh, you know, strangling a man on the streets of New York City in front of a whole bunch of witnesses and a video camera and not only getting indicted. Oh, only if you're a strangler, right? Like you're a guy who likes strangling. Folks. Well, right, but I mean, there are people who like strangling people, and you know, they become <laughs> police officers because doing that in the private sector is a no—it's a non-starter. It's not going to last for very long. That's yeah, for sure. right. Well, I mean, it's so hard to make a living as a strangler as a private sector person. Right. I mean, you ask yourself if that's what you want to do. If you want to harm people and get away with it, you know, where are you going to look? And it's two professions: cops and military. You know, at some point, you would hope that a police officer would get caught that uh, does this behavior. But sadly, we've seen article after article of, of cops that are accused accused of something that are let off, and then we find out they what they're promoted. What their record is is that they're doing this kind of stuff over and over again. All right. So I want to get into the story. The title is Today I Stopped Caring by Lieutenant Daniel Furseth of the Wisconsin uh, DeForest Police Department. Let's go to that. But first, your calls. We've got, I believe, Dale, or excuse me, Dave in New Hampshire. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. Um, Dave Ridley. I wanted to uh, like update you on the saga of New Hampshire sort of becoming the cryptocurrency capital of the world. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Love to hear about that. Uh, there was article in the union leader that i just saw today i guess it must have come out yesterday uh apparently the vice president of pc connection or the former vice president of pc connection which is based in new hampshire uh has started his own company and he's going to going to have his own cryptocurrency for the company which isn't that big a deal by itself but what's different about this apparently is that he is going to like he's going to guarantee a one dollar minimum value for each of his coins, at least for a while, each of the cryptos that he has, and you can use them to buy things through his site because he runs he runs Zifter right now, which is sort of like a price comparison. It's sort of it reminds me of um, of Orbitz, you know, where you, where you like you go to Orbitz and you don't necessarily wind up with Northwest Airlines every time. You go to Orbitz and it shows you the different prices from the different airlines, right? Sure. I so what's Zifter his website? Works. Gifter. Zifter. Uh, Zifter works. Z- Zifter, Zifter works a little bit that way. Okay. Yeah. Is it like a bit? Is it like a cryptocurrency based site, or is it just a site where you search for prices on whatever? No, it's a, it was established. I guess it's been around. I got the impression it's been around for a few years. I had not heard of it before. Um, but what his goal is, I guess, and I don't understand everything about how the coin will work, but he's going to give away a bunch of them. And he's going to make it so that you can use them to buy things through his site. Uh, and his goal is to try and double worldwide cryptocurrency usage from 10 million, I guess it's supposedly 10 million people, up to 20 million people. And he's going to he's going to guarantee a, a minimum $1 value on the currency? Is that what I understood you said? That's what it looks like. The so so now we have we, we have a <laughs> cryptocurrency backed by fiat currency? Is that really happening? Yeah, sure. So but it's his currency? It, I mean, if you think about it, as bad as the dollar is, it is actually probably pretty close to being one of the world's most stable currency. It's probably yeah. in, in the top ten in terms of state stability. It oh, I think that people, very- uh, the, the many of the, the, the claims that libertarians level at the dollar are uh, spurious. I think that the you know the dollar today um, is, it, it may not be as stable as I'd like it to be, but it's you know certainly more stable than the euro right now. It's easier to measure things in dollars than anything else currently. 
Yeah, well, certainly. Uh, I mean, I yeah. don't I don't buy things in you know, I buy things with Bitcoin. I sell things with Bitcoin, but I figure out the amount of my Bitcoin transaction in dollars. I'll be the first one to admit that. All right. Yeah. So I got to say, I'm not impressed. Uh, you know, there's a zillion of these alternative coins out there. They all claim to be great in some way, shape or form. Yeah, but he's back in his. That's so? kind of neat. The important thing here, I think, is that he's on the front page or, yeah, it looks like the front page of the union leader. I wonder in, how much he paid Hampshire, for that. Where, where it counts. <laughs> and... Uh, what the union leader article said, quote, is that, quote, market value of the coin, if the market value of the coin is lower than $1 at the time of the transaction, the company will make up the difference through fees it collects from merchants, unquote. So Through fees it collects from merchants. It sounds, this like sounds that's something that. a little bit this, different this, this. From, from the other 500 altcoins. Yeah, I mean, this just reminds me of the Overkill Coin, like, YouTube video. I don't know if you guys... I haven't seen this. It sounds have, funny, though. Oh, Overkill Coin is hysterical, <laughs> and, then, like, it just... Oh, I, I, I can't do it any justice. Yeah, okay. it, it might be... We'll, we'll look we'll at look it during the it. break. Maybe it'll be go, good audio, but the... Uh, you know, it's it's just a bit that there's like all these different, you know, coins came out. You know, I thought like I thought it was going to stop with Dogecoin, right? Like oh, how, how much more just of a joke coming. can this become than Dogecoin? But then like people were actually talking about Dogecoin and like giving me Dogecoin on <laughs> Twitter. And I'm like, what is this? People we'll are actually back. trading this for money. Hang on. 855, 453. And Dave, thanks you. Uh, thank you for uh, for your call. More coming up. Chuck Woolery here. You know, I've talked before about Australian Dream, the effective arthritis pain relief cream that doesn't burn, isn't greasy, and has no odor. Now there's new Australian Dream back pain cream with all those great benefits. But this penetrating formula can help relieve your simple back pain. And it's backed by an empty jar guarantee. If you're not satisfied, you can send back the empty jar for a full refund. But I don't think you will, because Australian Dream really works. Don't let back pain ruin your day. Get Australian Dream back pain cream at Walgreens. You've heard of Black Friday doorbuster deals. Well, don't miss Lumber Liquidator's Floor Buster deals. Get incredible discounts on your favorite floors at one-time only prices. There's never been a better time to get a great deal on pre-finished hardwoods, hand-scraped hardwoods, gorgeous bamboo, top quality laminates, and get 26-month special financing. Plus, get even more Floor Buster discounts in our stores. The sale ends Tuesday. These deals will not wait until after the holidays. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 9938 Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Phone records, financial and location data, Prism, Tempora, X Keyscore, Boundless Informant. Hey, I'll Scott Horton here for offnow.org. Now here's the deal. Due to the Snowden revelations, we have a great opportunity for a short period of time to get some real rollback of the national surveillance state. Now they're already trying to tire us by introducing fake reforms in the Congress. And the courts, they betray their sworn oaths to the Constitution and Bill of Rights again and again and can in no way be trusted to stop the abuses for us. We've got to do it ourselves. How? We nullify it at the state level. It's still not easy, but the Off Now project of the 10th Amendment Center has gotten off to a great start. I mean it. There's real reason to be optimistic here. They've gotten their model legislation introduced all over the place. In state after state, I've lost count, more than a dozen. You're always wondering, yeah, but what can we do? Here's something, something important, something that can work if we do the work. Get started cutting off the NSA support in your state. Go to offnow.org. 
If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Coming up, one police officer is very sad. (laughs) He is actually so sad, he says he stopped caring. We will share his piece here, and uh, Chris Cantwell brought it in to talk about here tonight. You can, of course, also bring up anything that happens to be on your mind. 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number. We've got Skype. Skype username's lrn.fm. The Liberty Gift of the Season is In Freedom's Cause. It's a CD set of audio theater unlike you've ever heard. This is movie soundtrack quality uh, CD. And soundtrack's not the right term because that's that's what all the songs are. But imagine you took the audio from a movie and ripped it onto a CD and, and you could still follow the story. That's what's going on here in In Freedom's Cause. It's the story of William the uh, William Wallace and I was going to say William the Bruce and Robert Wallace. William the, the Wallace and Robert the Bruce. And uh, historically accurate. Now, it has uh, some kids that are tossed into it, some uh, teenagers that are tossed in to sort of uh, you know, make it so that people, uh, young young people that are listening can relate to it in uh, some ways. But it's a historically accurate depiction as opposed to Braveheart. It's as good as Braveheart, but you know, historically accurate. It's got big name actors and actresses in it. For instance, uh, James Cosmo from Braveheart, Skandar Keynes from Chronicles of Narnia, Billy Boyd from Lord of the Rings, and Joanne Froggett from Downton Abbey. I really love her in that. Uh, it's in Freedom's Cause, and you can get the Liberty Gift of the Season by using coupon code FTL. You buy the Family 4-Pack. That's four gifts. You get it at half price. It's a great deal. It's infreedomscause.com, coupon code FTL, to save 50% off the Family 4-Pack. Infreedomscause.com, coupon code FTL. All right, so uh, the toll-free number here, 855-453-FREE. Let's go back to your calls and thoughts. We'll get to the upset cop here in a moment. Dale is with us in Tennessee. You're on Free Talk Live. Dale. Hey, hey uh, the first thing I'd like to say is I've been listening to y'all since early 2009. That's so all I right. remember the very, first, the very first time I heard you use the word or the expression bitcoins, and oh, like a fool, I've let it pass me by. But right now, I think a similar situation exists uh, with marijuana and hemp stocks because I'm able to buy them through my Fidelity account, and I've been buying the crap out of them, you know, at a penny a piece to share, a nickel a piece. I think that right now they're at the cusp of, of finding something that they can legitimately market, and it's going to go through the roof. I don't disagree with you. Mm. What you need to really be careful with um, these penny stocks is is that you need to understand that you're going to have nine losers for every winner that you might have. Uh, And and that's a good number, frankly, Um, because just because marijuana is going somewhere as far as, uh, you know, a legalized recreational or medical uh, purposes doesn't mean that the stock that you buy is going to go somewhere. Those many of those companies are opened up by people who are like, ah, it's legal to have marijuana stocks and or le- mar- sell marijuana. So they open up a business and they don't, they're not a business person and they, ha- they don't learn from their mistakes quickly enough. And you know, they, they land on their butt, but 
I agree that there's uh, there's definitely some upside in that. You didn't could you, hit it big. Didn't you recently go to like a marijuana investors conference or something like I that? I was going to go to a marijuana investment conference, but the guy who was organizing it died a week before <gasps> the. I'm really? not kidding you. Marijuana, not <laughs> even once. <laughs> not even <laughs> once. <laughs> wow, See, I kids? didn't realize that was what happened. Yeah. And so I you I know, know that there was like we had said, oh, well, we were going to go, but then we weren't going to go because something fell through. But you never well, told me that part. Of the I know story. something fell through like the guy's heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs> Beep. Um, yeah. Sorry. Jeez. Oh, All right. Uh, so, Dale. Yeah. So, you know, it's stocks. You're taking risk. I mean, you, as long as you realize that. Right. Um, speculation. Yeah. I mean, it is speculation. But, you know, when I can buy a thousand shares at two cent a, two cent a piece, you know, it's like 20 bucks, um, you know, it's it's worth it. It's, it's speculation. And I think there's probably more upside, more upside on the hemp side than there is anything because they already know they can build uh, building materials out of hemp. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a much more, uh, what's the word? It's a much more green uh item than, than say trees you can it's but i think there's a lot of upside and i just don't want to i don't want to i don't want to get caught like i got caught with my pants down so to speak by by looking over the bitcoin i'd just like to point out that when it comes to your feeling about getting caught with your pants down about bitcoin there may be people who are listening to the discussion we're having about bitcoin today where bitcoin's at around 350 dollars uh, right, per, yeah. per bitcoin who may be saying to themselves, ah, drat, I missed the boat. Bitcoins are so expensive now. Well, in five years, you might be saying, oh, drat, I missed the boat. Bitcoins yeah. are so expensive now. $3,500. 3500 or 35000 or whatever. I mean, Now, they could go down, obviously, but uh, it, it, you may Absolutely. be feeling sorry if you didn't get any Bitcoin at all. And remember, when you buy Bitcoin, you don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin. So if $350 is like, whoa, that's too much, you can buy $20 worth of Bitcoin. That's not a problem. Yeah, I, I went to buy into Bitcoin at $29, and it was like immediately after that that the, the the s hit the fan in cyprus and mm-hmm. that was when bitcoin first like went over like 200 bucks and i had a i made a mistake in the way i did the transaction and it got declined and oh, i ended no. up missing out on this and i was like i just made a boatload of money and then i was like all right well i'll wait for bitcoin to come back down under a hundred dollars never and happened. here you know and then it went up over 1200 and now it's back down to 350 and i'm trying to get as much of it as i can because i'm like i don't want to miss that again yeah. so what i'm suggesting is that it is not necessarily too late uh for bitcoin i'm not saying don't do the cannabis investing because you know obviously you feel really good about that uh but here's might- what i'm saying is, is there's a multi-millionaire that i know that uh is really into bitcoin and he has you know i was talking to him about just diversifying uh, my portfolio and he's like no 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 you don't want to do it um and he's of the opinion that bitcoin could conceivably be ten thousand dollars in two years i don't know these are these are he his claims more his claims than they are mine but he's been right enough times in the past that it's like well i sort of feel like oh i guess i gotta stay in the fear you have of getting in is the fear i have would have of getting out yeah Mm. But you know, I guess that's why they call it all speculation. You know, yeah, it's true. That's what they call Y'all it. Doing a great job. Thanks, Thanks again, Dale. And I'm going to keep on listening. Appreciate the call, brother. The toll free number is 855 450 free. You can join us via Skype as well. Skype username LRN.FM. Let's talk to Mac in Washington. Mac, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey there. Well, um, I just wanted to say that uh, when I was a progressive uh, leftist kind of guy, my my sort of mantra and, and the the basis for pretty much every government program that I advocated, which was all of them, uh, <laughs> was that people are stupid and people are evil. Mm. And uh, I, I don't I don't feel that way anymore. And uh, something happened. But even if you do, uh, it's a terrible reason for a government program, right? <laughs> because if people yeah, are right? stupid and evil, why in the hell would you want stupid, evil people to administer your government program? Why would you want them to have power? You sure. got it. Such an obvious contradiction. Mm. Uh, but something happened yesterday, and and, and uh, you know how something will happen. You'll think about this, and you'll think about that. Well, I, I guess I kind of came back around to to thinking about how I used to be, and and why it was stupid to think that. Um, I want you I to tell me more about it, Mac. Hang on, we're going to bring you back for the full story. The toll free number is eight fifty five. 
450 free. And I did pull up the Overkill coin audio. Would like to play that because it's it's pretty fun. <laughs> uh, that'll be on the way as well. Plus the upset cop. He is mad. And uh, we'll, we'll come back with that. Mom, I can't do my math homework. I just don't get it. I hate math. <sighs> I've always tried to be a good mother, but when it came to Jamie's math, I was at a loss. Then a friend told me about Math Made Easy DVDs. Concepts are simplified in an easy way to follow and review, and students can learn at their own pace in the convenience of home. Listen, in the frustration, call Math Made Easy. Call now, 1-800-USA-MATH. That's 1-800-872-6284. Or visit us at mathmadeeasy.com. Are you hungry for delicious, nutritious, rich, and satisfying home-cooked meals? Discover the Vita Clay 4-in-1 Smart Organic Cooker. Unglazed Zisha Clay, an ancient secret that makes this fast multi-cooker so special. Infusing your food with incredible flavors, perfect texture, vitamins, and minerals for your good help. It's a slow cooker, rice cooker, a steamer, plus a yogurt maker. Go to VitaClayChef.com and enter promo code RADIO20 for 20% off at checkout. That's VitaClayChef.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand it's about demonstrating to the entire country that, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You're invited here to take control of the airwaves. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online 
at freetalklive.com. We've got a lot of features on that site. We give them away to you. Those other talk show hosts, a lot of them charge you for their websites. Go and enjoy ours for free at freetalklive.com. We were just talking about Bitcoin in the last segment, and Free Talk Live's been involved in the, the Bitcoin sphere since the very beginning. The head developer of Bitcoin, not at the time, but now, um, is what that's what his title is, Gavin Andreessen, um, he was actually an amplifier. Uh, that's somebody who gives us, you know, five dollars a month mm-hmm. to uh, be part of our little Mouseketeer Club at amp.freetalklive.com. He was an amplifier, and he came up and had lunch with us and told us about Bitcoin. We were skeptical, but we talked about it here, and since then, it has really taken off. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, you know, one of the biggest proponents of Bitcoin, Bitcoin Jesus, he heard about uh, Bitcoin. Here from Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live is, to some extent, uh, Gavin Andreessen has said that it was one of the sparks that lit the the fire that is Bitcoin today. And, it's a huge compliment. Yeah, it is. It's a huge compliment and completely accurate. Um, you can go see us at the Texas Bitcoin Conference because we're going to be there, and I'm excited about it. It's going to be lots of Bitcoin luminaries. People have taken it much farther than we have. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, there's a lot of reasons to go to the Texas Bitcoin Conference. I would say we're a sideshow at, at best. I mean, there's some really ta- talented Bitcoin knowledgeable people there, and then there's Free Talk Live. You know, We know a thing or two about it. Some people will go to the Texas Bitcoin Conference to see us. And I will welcome them because sure. that's a great reason. It's a fine reason. We'll be there, and we'd love to, to see you. We we were in Texas last year uh, for it. It's March the 28th and 29th. It's at the Moody Theater in downtown Austin. It's going to be loaded with the best and brightest Bitcoin speakers. It's going to be a lot of fun. Whether you're knee-deep in Bitcoin or just interested, this is the place to be. March 28th and 29th, Texas Bitcoin Conference. You can get your ticket now and save $25 by using coupon code FTL. When you sign up at TexasBitcoinConference.com. So the normal $150 price discounted to $125. Coupon code FTL for the second annual Bitcoin Conference. I think the most exciting thing that's going to be there is the uh, million dollar Bitcoin 2.0 hackathon. Yeah, I'm excited about it because I liked it last year, but I wasn't a huge fan of the venue. And I liked it because they had lots of neat cars. It was a racetrack out, out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, there was like nowhere to eat. You had to eat from food trucks that were. They were good were though. The yeah, you know, they weren't bad. But being in downtown Austin is going to dramatically increase the amount of things to do with the people from the conference. Indeed. So like, if you know, you meet people at the conference, you want to go out to dinner, you can go out to dinner without having to drive everywhere because you're going to be right down in the heart of Austin. So TexasBitcoinConference.com. I'm looking forward to it. We'll see you there. Let's bring Mac back on the line here. Mac, you were talking about how you used to be uh, someone who believed that people were were bad that people were evil uh by nature and you were sort of reflecting on that so go ahead with your thoughts right and uh you know since since then i've i mean it's been years since i've thought that way but i've also met conservatives uh usually as they call them neo neo neoconservatives they kind of feel the same way uh about people being bad that's why we need government and Mm -hmm. all this and uh well something happened the other day and this this didn't really like rammed the point home for me or something like that, but it just kind of made me think about it. And uh, I went to one of those, here we have those coffee, coffee stands where the girl is usually pretty much half naked, you know, and uh, you go there. And you where is this? Sounds great. Yeah. Where? It's where? It's Some place warmer, as good as buzz box. Uh, warmer than New Hampshire. Yeah. I'll bet you. <laughs> right up. And Oh, by the way, I do love that buzz box coffee, but once in oh, a while great. I like to see a, a half naked girl. Uh, Hell yeah. Uh, is this a, a chain or is it like just a local tiki bar or something like that? It, it's a local, it's a very small chain. I think there's four of them. Let What's me, it called? Give uh, them a plug. They are called Foxy Lady Latte. And <laughs> and I love it. Because, you know, see, Seattle is where Jimi Hendrix is from, you know, Foxy Lady yeah. and all that. Yeah, yeah that's exactly lady. what it's referring to. Uh huh. Um, right, exactly. Well, you know, I, I well, want to so, ask you this about BuzzBox right. Coffee real quick, because I drink BuzzBox every yeah. day, and I love it, but I, every once in a while, you end up drinking coffee from someplace else, right? And right. Yeah. do you have this experience like, blah, <laughs> I don't know whether, at some point, I'm probably going to stop. Huh? Yeah, I mean, it's just so, so much worse than uh, the coffee I get. I went to a, a networking meeting uh, yesterday morning, and, you know, they had your average decaf coffee, and it was just so horrible, Right. You know, uh, it, it's it's high. It's very high grade coffee. And I'm not a coffee snob uh, by, by any stretch of the imagination or any kind of a connoisseur. But I mean, there is good coffee and not so good coffee and terrible coffee. And this is really high grade stuff. And yeah, there is a discernible difference. You can. So you know, it doesn't I, bother you. I drink the Maxwell. 
and not not too too much okay. uh you know but but uh uh i do i mean i just i really like that buzz box and of course my wife she is a coffee snob and she loves the buzz box well anybody can go get a free pound by going to coffee.freetalklive.com um, when you do i just gave uh three more micro loans out through kiva.org and that's funded through uh our buzz box campaign coffee.freetalklive.com that's right yeah and and also it makes you feel good that you're actually helping people out too just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so, so you were so, at the so coffee anyway, shop. One, at one, once upon a time, you realized that people were stupid and evil, and now you have lost that wisdom. Is that, is that what it you're saying? Sounds like you agree with him. Chris I Cantwell. agree with what his previous premise I, was: was I that people are stupid that. and evil. But I don't think you know people are stupid and evil. So we need a government made up of people who are stupid and evil. So, you know, but but go ahead with your thoughts. I'm sorry. Okay, right. That's that's no problem. Uh, so I, I I come around this coffee. You have to drive around this building, and then you come back out up front. And I I do that, and I don't know. Off to my right, I I guess out of the corner of my eye, I kind of noticed there was a guy doing something. But I'm more interested in seeing a half naked girl, right? Yep. So I pull up to the uh, window, and when I get up there, the girl is yelling at this at this guy. And then I look over, and what he's doing is he's pulling a bunch of crap out of a dumpster. Uh, and just kind of throwing it on the ground. He's obviously a homeless guy, mm. uh, younger younger than me. Uh, and she's yelling at him. Well, he starts walking towards her with his fist balled really menacingly and yelling something back. And I hear what he said, but it was obviously threatening. And now, and this look, is I'm, when you realize that getting... people are not stupid and evil. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So, uh, you know, I'm I'm kind of getting up there in years. I'm almost 50. I have a lot of health problems, physical ailments. Despite that fact, I open up the car door and I stepped out and started walking towards him. And he immediately turned tail and kind of ran off. Mm -hmm. And I, the, what made me think about that, the reason I come this is related to what I started talking about is because I don't think that that was particularly heroic. I think that anybody would have done it. I think Cantwell would have done it. Mark would have done it. And even Ian, even though he's a twerp, he would have done it too. <laughs> Ian, so, uh, Ian would have uh, videotaped him. <laughs> Probably the smartest among us, by the way, for doing that same behavior. Um, let me ask you this. Yeah. Did you get a free cup of coffee out of it? I, she, she gave me an extra stamp on my card so that the next time I go in, I'll get a free cup of coffee. I so you're telling me a phone yeah. number looking at this website. You got a fifth of a <laughs> cup of coffee out of it? These stamps are... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, Here's that, 75 cents too. for putting your life in danger. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, not only that, I tipped her too, though. So There you go. But uh, <laughs> it, it, anyway, though, I, I just kind of wanted to girl. throw that in there because I, 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 that, I don't think that I'm unusual. I think that pretty much anybody would have done that. And the reason why is because I think that in general, most people are good. So there's that. I, I agree. So wait, so just to be clear, you were in this drive through at the Foxy yeah. Lady Latte. And right. some guy is threatening toward the lady that's operating the drive-thru. You come to yeah. her defense, and this reminded you that people are good. Well, I mean, I just kind of thought about it later on, and and, and I didn't want to come home bragging, hey, guess what I did? But it, it really, to me, it's not much to brag about because I honestly think that most people would have done that or something. Would you have uh, done it if the know? place was Fat Chick Frappuccino instead of <laughs> Foxy Lady gone. Monte? Yeah. <laughs> I, I probably would have, but I, I just even as even with all the physical ailments I have, I wasn't yeah. even if that guy had beat me up, I wasn't going to stand there and let him uh, harm a, a girl wearing nothing but her underwear. The I, fat I chick would have at least happen. showed a little gratitude, for God's sake, more than a yeah. stamp on your car. <laughs> hey, Max, thanks for your call tonight, man. I do appreciate sure. uh, hearing from you. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. So I think there's some disagreement here in the studio. Cam, well, you think people are stupid and evil in the majority, yeah. And Mark, you think people are stupid and good. And good. I think people are. N I think people are generally, you know, not stupid and good. Have you ever met well. anybody with a hundred IQ? Half of the world is dumber than them. We'll come back with more in moments here. Eight fifty five four fifty free. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. You can share your thoughts on Free Talk Live. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least ten thousand or more in back taxes. 
The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. The experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've used and and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. Are you making sense to the boomer mindset? I'm Holland Cook from survivalspeech.com. 80 million baby boomers comprise 25% of the population and control most of the USA's wealth. As aging parents pass on, they'll control more. Boomers are 46 to 65 years old and regard themselves as midlife. They identify as neither young nor old. They're post minivan and pre retirement and they don't like being called boomers. They think me. Many of the purchases boomer couples make are individual purposes. They've been experimenters all their lives. If you want their attention, tell stories and keep it simple. If something seems complicated, boomers can dismiss it as, I don't need this. And if you're looking for work, you may be applying to a boomer, so relate accordingly. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial in toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, of course, you can join us online. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features we have there for you. In fact, if you want to uh, follow along with Free Talk Live in the old school fashion, you can sign up for our email list. You go to freetalklive.com. You look on the left-hand side of the page. You'll find the little email sign-up box right there. And yeah, during the email, if you receive the emails, you'll receive some weekly digest emails, which will give you a summary of some of the stuff we talked about and some of the most popular articles as voted and submitted by you to our website. Also, special offers like you know giveaways. We sometimes 
sometimes do those via email and news about the show. That kind of information will come straight to your email box. Just get signed up over in the left-hand side of freetalklive.com. You know, before we continue on or re-pick up the topic of the police, let's dig a little further into this uh, viewpoint because three of us disagree on something here, Chris. And you, you love a disagreement. You said that, well, you know, that's how ideas get aired. Uh, Chris, you said that you think that people are stupid and evil. You think the way our previous caller used to think. Uh, I don't think people are stupid uh, or evil. And Mark, you think that people are stupid, but they're good. Yeah, I, I think mostly people are um, driven by incentives, and I think that sadly the incentives uh, have a lot to do in this world by, um, you know, the to not be particularly smart or think for yourself or think outside the box. So, yeah, that's the reason. But I do think that people are incentivized to be good. So, wait, what you're saying is that uh, that they could be smarter if they were incentivized properly? So it's not that they were born stupid? Is what you're saying? Um, uh, yeah, I think that they could. Yeah, you know, sure. Anybody could take the time not to, I don't know, and in, uh, ingest a whole bunch of alcohol. That doesn't make you particularly smart. Um, and you know that there's a lot of alcohol consumed in this world. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah. Also, if you spent your time studying rather, you know, learning things rather than. I don't know, playing solitaire online, uh, you're going to be smarter, sure. And really, it's a, it's like a muscle. You have to work it. Critical thinking is a skill. Yeah. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. Mm. Okay. Because you, uh, do you remember the guy who called in? I think it was on Saturday night. He said something to the effect of, um, if we had more spankings, um, we wouldn't have such a large prison population. That's what he said. This is uh, either he had never said this out loud, or he has no critical thinking skills, right? He, so he, he, I mean, there's no other country with a population as large as ours. But there are lots of countries that spank more and countries that spank less. So you should be able to correlate this to something else. Mm. And there's no correlation to prison population and spanking no, in the United States. No, he's just got an opinion. Right. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. But even the, it's a stupid it's opinion. based on nothing. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you have it's enough, ignorant. When you, it's ignorant. No, that's when you line up ignorant. enough stupid opinions, you move from the category of, and you're willing to have, first, when you have enough opinions in an area that you don't have a lot of information, that's what ignorance is, then, you know, that's a stupid person. Like, if I, I don't know much about brain surgery or rocket uh, uh, design, but if I was to run around giving a lot of advice in that arena, that would make me a stupid person. I'm just simply ignorant right now, but when I go talking about it, that's what makes me stupid. I, I would go so far as to say that that's when you go into the realm of evil, right? Like, I'm going to gain some satisfaction by spouting off at the mouth about something that I have no concept about. If you were a doctor doing that, Right. If you're like, hey, I'm a doctor, come come have medical procedures performed on you by me. And I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm mutilating people and they're <laughs> walking out of my office disabled. You know, I'm creating victims. Right. Yes. You now, if I'm an economist, I get away with this. <laughs> right, I could be I could be Paul Krugman and create millions of victims all over the world and destroy untold amounts of wealth and property, and I just get away scot free. Now, is Paul Krugman just a dummy who doesn't understand economics, or is he a bad guy when he's got all the information available to tell him that his Keynesian economic garbage is causing a lot of damage? Well, I'd say he's really bad. I'd say he's a really evil dude. So. People swallow this stuff whole and all the information is available to them. I, I do believe that there's a point where your ignorance becomes an evil in and of itself, hmm. that you're purposely and willfully ignorant and you're creating damage and you don't want to do anything to stop it. I'd say that makes you a terrible excuse for a human being. Well, okay, those are interesting viewpoints, and there's uh, there's strong arguments to be made there. My viewpoint is I try to look at the positive side of people, and I see that you know what we have in the world today is a pretty amazing place with some wonderful you know technology and things that we can do with our lives. And you were know, those all created by fifty percent of the population or by a few real standouts? Well, obviously there are some real innovators who got those things started, but okay, they wouldn't so have been able to be successful were it not for the people who were working at the lower levels of those companies or whatever. I and so make, I'd like to I just finish my point, uh, and that is that there are you know a lot of really great things about being in this world, and yes. it's the people who make those things possible that generally we have safe lives that uh, are enjoyable, and that's because people are good. They're not around you know hurting each other on a regular basis unless they work. 
for the government. And so I think there's a lot of evidence that people are by nature good. Even the people who are, you know, do things that we think are bad in a lot of cases believe they're doing good. Now they may be wrong and misguided about that, and that's another conversation. Um, and I think that certainly there's intelligence, and some people have different kinds of intelligence. There's lots so, of different types. So, you know, just because you might be book smart doesn't mean you're street smart, that kind of thing. So I think that somebody who is street smart but maybe can't put a sentence together very effectively isn't necessarily stupid. They might be ignorant on sentence structure and could use some education in that area, but they maybe not, you know, haven't needed those things. What is uh, the street life. smart's value? Uh, well, you know, if you dealing with other smarts, stupid people, I don't know what you mean by that. I mean, there's smart people and not so smart people in the streets. Oh, I yeah, mean, absolutely knowing true. How to, knowing how to deal with people outside of the classroom is kind I think of it's very smarts. difficult to rate intelligence. And there are different types of intelligence. The simple fact that you have one type of intelligence does not mean that you would not have others, though. Mm -hmm. So I may be great linguistically, but I may be also good in spatial recognition. Mm -hmm. um, so in you know, there's just because you're not you're one doesn't mean you're not the other. So I'm simply saying the world is driven by the top 10 percent in a given area. So let's say there's seven. I think it's seven or nine or areas of intelligence that have been identified. I've heard higher. I've heard lower. It's really difficult to know. If you take okay. the top 10 percent in those areas, those are the people that are driving innovation, that are driving productivity in that area. What you say about the world, what you like about the world is, is it's a nice place to live. Agreed. It wasn't created by 90% of the population. It was created by 10%. Or if you were to take 10% in each area, then you you know, round it up. I'm just going to go ahead and say 25% of the population make the world a really great place to live. 75% of the you – know, 50% of the population well, you're talking about are innovators. functionaries in the, uh, in the cogs that are really just – filling space and the 25 percent are a problem and if you believe that a business should fire 10 it's 10 percent least productive people then you probably it's not a big step to say that we should call the 10 percent least effective humans uh yeah i definitely wouldn't say anything i know like you that. wouldn't um <laughs> yeah you i might, I, I wouldn't even do that and i'm and i, I don't know I how was, you would rate it i thought i was really cold <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you know the, the thing though i do i would say that look we can talk about different types of intelligence and maybe not everybody who's very uh, uh high functioning scores very well on an iq test or something like that maybe but mm -hmm. there are there are there is a quantifiable in some way measurement of cognition of brain function right and the truth of the matter is is that the majority of people don't have nearly the cognition nearly the brain function that's going on between the three of us sitting at this table okay that's that's oh, a we're thing the smart that, ones <laughs> yeah well and there's people who are smarter than us but i mean yeah, they I, certainly I, are you know but I, but at the same time like most of the world doesn't measure up to any one of us okay and so that is a th well, that probably has See, something to do with know. nutrition too uh nutrition has to do with uh, brain function and that sort of thing and most, when you're talking about most of the world you're talking about a lot of people that don't get good nutrition well yeah i mean one of the things i've been studying with the whole nootropics thing is like something like 85 percent of the population is choline deficient right the, the, of, the, choline of the world is. and choline is like a it's a it's a it's a a chemical that your brain uses your brain produces acetylcholine this is a, a messenger chemical in your brain and so if you don't have enough of this then your brain isn't going to be functioning at 100 percent. so if you're taking nootropics you're probably going to take a choline supplement with them so in any case like yeah just right there like you're talking about nutrition i mean you can find choline in eggs you know for example but uh you know most people don't get enough of it and so choline supplements are very popular with people who are trying to increase their brain function but for whatever reason uh I, a lot of people doesn't matter what the what their nutrition it is you could go and put them in a diet run by you know <laughs> guys who just did nothing but try to make people smarter and it just wouldn't happen for them because they don't have it and that's okay right we don't need them all to be the top you know i don't want them to be it wouldn't make any sense you have a society of people that you have a, a, a few a number of people who are very smart that they are geniuses that they run the world that they are leaders and that they are uh, uh, you know industry um mavericks or whatever you want to call them and then you have worker drones and it makes a lot of sense and they're there to follow orders toll free number tonight is 855 450 free if you'd like to comment here uh, i still think that you know the people who are the worker drones doesn't mean they're stupid people yes it does it doesn't mean that they're not valuable they can do things very effectively and you have to be smart to fix things for instance or put things together i think
Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Khalid lives in Gaza. He makes his living as a taxi driver. The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Kay Oliver is part of the Twayambe Women's Group in Jinja, Uganda. She gets old clothes, fixes them up, washes them, and then sells them at the Jinja market. She was quite happy with her success at her business, but realized that a sewing machine would really help her make more money to take care of her two kids. Free Talk Live helped her get that sewing machine. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound. Try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Wednesday, December 10th, 2014. Silver is trading at $17.20 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,231 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $351. Antiwar.com reports, in Baghdad's heavily fortified green zone, Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel heard more desperate calls from Iraqi Premier Haider Abadi, who sought further escalation of the U.S. air war and even more shipments of heavy weaponry. Abadi told Hagel his fighters were advancing against the Islamic State, but for bigger gains, they would need support. Hagel described the talks as candid and told Abadi that arms shipments were already being accelerated. It's not clear that Iraqi forces are advancing against the Islamic State in the first place, though officials on both sides are keen to maintain this illusion of progress. Likewise, the Iraqi military was one of the best equipped in the region before summer when they were routed by the Islamic State. As for the airstrikes, the U.S continues to add warplanes to the region, shifting some from Afghanistan and elsewhere, and are carrying out a huge air war between the Islamic State territory in Syria and Iraq. Three months of air war hasn't amounted to much change on the ground, and while further escalations are to be expected, there's little reason to expect anything to come out of it beyond the escalations themselves. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports the CIA misled the White House and the public about its torture of detainees after the September 11th attacks and acted more brutally and pervasively than it acknowledged, according to a U.S. Senate report on Tuesday, drawing calls to prosecute American officials. 
The Senate Intelligence Committee's five-year review of 6.3 million pages of CIA documents concluded that the intelligence agency failed to disrupt a single plot despite torturing al-Qaeda and other captives in secret facilities worldwide between 2002 and 2006 when George W. Bush was president. The CIA interrogation program was devised by two agency contractors to squeeze information from suspects after the September 11, 2001 attacks. Some captives were deprived of sleep sleep for up to 180 hours at a time with their hands shackled above their heads and the report recorded cases of simulated drowning or waterboarding and sexual abuse including rectal feedings or rectal rehydration without any documented medical need. It described one secret CIA prison as a dungeon where detainees were kept in total darkness and shackled in isolated cells given only a bucket in which to relieve themselves. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. CNET reports just a day after Uber was banned from India's capital territory of Delhi after the report of an alleged rape, both Thailand and Spain on Tuesday said Uber service is illegally operating in their countries. In Thailand, at issue is the type of cars Uber uses to ferry people from place to place. Uber is using private cars rather than licensed taxis in violation of the country's laws. However, Thailand's Land Transport Department told the Wall Street Journal that using mobile applications to held properly registered vehicles is legal in Thailand. Uber said it will hold conversations with transportation officials in Thailand. Also, a judge in Spain ordered Uber to end all operations in the country. A mercantile court judge in Madrid said in a writ that Uber drivers have no official authorization to operate the service and are competing unfairly with licensed taxi drivers. Bans in Thailand and Spain add even more fuel to the fire that continues to rage for the five-year-old San Francisco based company. The company continues to face legal challenges from governments and taxi companies around the world, while recent controversies over safety and privacy have tarnished its reputation. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. If you're the parent of a man-child, you know how frustrating it can sometimes be. The piercing sound of his video games waking you up at two in the morning his insatiable hunger and inability to cook anything for himself, the messes he makes. The stress can be overwhelming. Something will set them off, uh, such as their man-child will tell them that they don't know how to tie a tie even though they're almost 30. They'll start shaking them and shaking them and yelling and saying, what the hell is wrong with you? Why don't you get a real job instead of working part-time at a board game store? The results of shaken man-child syndrome are devastating. Trauma caused by the brain colliding with the inside of the man-child's skull can lead to cognitive disabilities, making it even more unlikely he'll finally marry the girl he's been having a long-distance online relationship with for six years. Or it can even lead to death. He's not spilling cereal all over the couch or leaving his beard clippings in the bathroom sink intentionally. He truly does not know what he's doing. For The Lab Report, I'm Stuart Adams. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want, whether you want to talk about people. Are they good by nature or evil by nature? Are they stupid or not? That's been the discussion we've been having here. But also, we want to get to the cop who is saying he is sick and tired of all this disrespect. He is, in fact, so sick of it, he says he's stopping caring. He's no longer going to care about his fellow man. We will get into his opinion, and your calls and thoughts, of course, are welcome about anything. With you in the studio tonight, you've got Ian. Chris. And Mark. That's Chris from ChristopherCantwell.com. And we're going to get back into your calls and thoughts here. Rich is in Montana. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Rich. Yeah, first of all, my heart bleeds for the cop. But let let me tell you, you know, I, I like when you have Cantwell on. He Thank seems you. like a pretty. He he. You seem like a pretty cool guy, but I got to say, man, you are full of yourself, are you? <laughs> Look, I I uh, I think very highly of myself, and I'm pretty sure that I have very good reason to feel that way. <laughs> Why is that? 
Because I'm Why I'm that? good looking and smart and funny, <laughs> talented. I mean, oh my God. great in bed. I mean, the list. <laughs> this could go on. We could. I mean, do we want to do another segment all about how wonderful I am? I mean. <laughs> I just hope you never meet your match, man. In a little state like New Hampshire, you probably never will. <laughs> but let me comment on street smarts. The way I see street smarts, and I think I have quite a bit of street smarts, and I know a lot of people that do. Basically, what street smarts is, it's just it's it's your your life experiences based on where you're from. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay, so I get it. So uh, street smarts are the ability to sort of predict what's going to happen in the future in a given situation. And yeah, you if, don't get street smarts from book learning, that's for sure. No, I see. You don't. Okay, no, I see you what don't. We're, you were using as the terminology street smarts here. Yeah, I thought it, you were— it, a, lot of it, a lot of it is common sense. Yeah, okay, I'll so— give more, I'll give more for somebody with common sense than I would anybody with a wall full of degrees. That stuff actually means nothing to me. Yeah, I tend to agree. I mean, I can. Th- I, I think that, you know— Oh, I was defining worm- uh, street smarts differently. Okay. Well, now we've got to define, uh, I think I agree with Rich's definition. You know, some bookworm uh, turning pages in a library is smart in a different way from a drug dealer who's slinging, uh, you know, cocaine. and A drug uh, dealer slings cocaine on the street. And so that would be what I would call street smarts. What the gentleman called in and said was that he was talking about street smarts being the ability to essentially be in any situation. So I could be street smart as a talk show host and a business person knowing how to do my job job and do it well so you know because i have skills in a particular area that's what he's talking about but but i would i would go a bit further here and just say that you know and i'm talking about stupid people i'm talking about the level of cognitive function that's going on in their heads and by the way there's a lot of really stupid people selling drugs on the streets okay <laughs> i've met a lot I know of them that. so not so, all of them are. like if you whether it's street smarts or book smarts or you know anything you know the ability to talk fluently right i mean these are all different things language skills whatever i mean there's a million different types of learning that you could have Right, and that's something that a person to, picks up over time, and that might translate to books or just street starts or whatever it is you want. But if somebody just plain doesn't have the cognitive function, if they just don't have that that spark going on in their heads, and it doesn't really matter, uh, you know, what kind of learning you put in front of them, they're gonna be a dull uh, dull spark. You have to agree, though. There's a lot of book smart people out there that are idiots. absolutely because education today is simply memorization, right? I mean, look, it, memorization requires a certain level of cognitive function, certainly. But if all you can do is just memorize and repeat things, then you're never going to be creative. You're never going to uh, innovate. You're just going you're to just be score one of these well guys on test. who yeah. has a lot of I, information in his head, and you're going to be a, a real useless drain on society in large part. Actually, what I would say is, is education today is a lot of government propaganda. Yeah, I would agree with you there. Basically, it's true. that's about that's about it. What they're teaching kids today now is be good little good little mind on robot socialists. That's it's right. true. Rich, thanks for your call tonight. I appreciate it. Toll free number eight fifty five four fifty free. And I also agree that we're you know if we did not have a government education system, we actually had market based education, we would see more. Uh, intelligence out there, I think, as a result of people being better able to find their niche uh, instead of having this one-size-fits-all government system foisted upon everybody or almost everybody. Uh, people would go to different kinds of schools that would focus on different you know, areas of expertise or whatever. And I think that people have potential, even uh, though it may not be maximized under the current system. I think that people can grow in their I don't think they can't yeah. grow. I think they absolutely can. It's the choosing not to that I feel that puts you firmly in the category of stupid. That's what I feel puts them firmly in the category of evil. All right, there we go. Toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. Let's go to Tom. He's in Nashua, New Hampshire. You're on Free Talk Live. Go ahead, Tom. Uh, yeah, it's about that torture report out of the U.S. Senate about the torture going on at Guantanamo. Just uh, a little bit of the details, and, you know, it was rather sickening. And these torturers themselves, regardless of whether they were following orders or what they were doing, and their superiors that were given, the so-called superiors that were given the orders uh, to do this stuff, have got to be held criminally liable. That's not very likely, though, is it? Well, uh, it's not very likely, but this has got to be the demand because it puts 
uh, bureaucrats on notice, <coughs> excuse me, they put the bureaucrats on notice that they will possibly have to pay a price eventually. And Didn't somebody no already tell the CIA it? that they were off the hook a few, uh, like a year ago or something like that? Sometime before that. I don't know uh, about that, but there's no statute of, of limitations for war crimes. No, Obama. And yeah, Obama made it clear that they were not going to be uh, CIA. Nobody was going to be uh, targeted for this torture stuff. I mean, yeah. I mean, even when when Obama came in in the beginning, people were talking about trying to prosecute members of the Bush administration, and he flat out said that he just plain wasn't going to do it. Yeah, and of course, that's right. Barack Obama is a corrupt, evil dictator of his own right. And the, and the thing is, I mean, look, how many different things? I mean, what is what is the claim here that it's unconstitutional? I mean, what is anymore that the United States federal government does? Right, sure. everything they do is completely out of whack they have no boundaries they don't think that they have any limits they don't acknowledge any limits on their powers whatsoever they do what they want the worst case i think for the government agents in this case and you know tom it'd be fine if people started getting prosecuted for it, but i don't see it's going to happen what you're likely going to see worst case will be the replacement of the head of the cia and that'll they'll act as though that it's going to change everything we'll just replace the head and then from the top down the whole organization will It'll just all be great. Yeah, exactly. And then he'll go get some cushy private sector job yeah. with a company like Blackwater and go murder a bunch of people in a foreign country under some different banner. Or get elected president of the United States. Yeah, that Herbert could be the next Walker one, Bush too, because we got a was, uh, bunch of stupid, evil he, voters. <laughs> he was a head of the CIA, and then he went on to become president of the United States. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Tom, um, so for your call tonight. Toll-free yeah. number is 855-450-FREE. So the police have been in the news quite a bit over the last couple of weeks, especially this week with protests going on ever since the whole Ferguson thing a couple weeks ago. Protests have been happening all over the place. Uh, Berkeley, California, Oakland, I think some in Philly. I don't I don't not really keeping track of all the locations, but I know Berkeley has been uh, been making the news because people have been protesting police brutality and then the police have decided to give them a taste of it, apparently. And uh, that well, the, the, the folks over there in Berkeley have gotten, you know, I don't know exactly everything that the police have done to everybody over there. But from what I saw, what was going on in Berkeley, they tried to reignite the whole Ferguson thing that they're burning down businesses. They're oh, throwing no. they're throwing rocks. They, uh, you know, uh, demonst- one of the, their fellow demonstrators tried to intervene while a bunch of guys were trying to set fire to a building and they hit him in the head with a hammer. Wow. So, you know, I mean, these people are not this is not a demonstration it's a riot they're race rioters yeah i haven't been following the the berkeley thing very closely i just have seen that uh, there have been protests down there and it's a shame that the actual protesters of course will get lost in the shuffle i mean when you've got people who are destroying things and causing issues like you were describing chris it can distract from the whatever the message was supposed to be right well what it doesn't uh, yes that sounds like a mess i wasn't paying that much attention to it but um you know what it doesn't detract from is is that there are a bunch of people that are out there like there's the zeitgeist against law enforcement in this country is uh, it's it's turning and i think that that I think that they've made their bed. And well, they're feeling it now, and that's what uh, one of them is going to be complaining about. A law enforcement officer, lieutenant from Wisconsin, will share his thoughts coming up on Free Talk Live. Did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, waking at night to urinate, or issues with sex. If this sounds familiar, call us now. Because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-856-4195. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate, improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate Free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-856-4195. That's 1-800-856-4195. Call 1-800-856-4195. 
Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. If I were a parent, and I am not. Mark, you are. I am not. Uh, but if I were a parent, then I would be teaching my kids the difference between right and wrong based on whether or not people get hurt, not whether or not some elected official has written some words down on a piece of paper and deemed something to be illegal. There have been so many things over the history of time that have been labeled right. as illegal. It's legal. It was legal to shoot engines in this country. Did that make it right? Legal and illegal, right and wrong. These things do not correspond no. here in America. It, they rarely correspond, as a, as a matter of fact. Anywhere. Yeah. Now, there are some things that are illegal that are absolutely wrong, sure. like murder or arson or destruction of property or However, stealing. it's also illegal to not pay taxes to the federal government. Is that wrong? Absolutely not. It That's is heroic. right to keep the money that you earn. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at fff at fff.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's fff at fff.org. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live. You may bring up anything you'd like. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Feel free to connect with us that way if you like. Uh, you do have to send a contact request first, but we'll approve it pretty fast. And then once you're approved, you can easily call us via Skype. Again, Skype username lrn.fm. ProXPN. If you care about online privacy, you need to know about ProXPN. And it's easy to find out about how it works. You just go and download the software. It's available for Windows, Macintosh. There's an app for iOS devices and Android devices. You get their software, get it rolling. It only takes a moment. And then once it's connected, once you're connected to ProXPN, then you're encrypted meaning that your internet service provider, they can't know what you're doing anymore. Right now, they're probably logging all the websites that you're visiting and maybe keeping those logs for up to five years in some cases. You can put a stop to that tonight by going to proxpn.com slash FTL. Grab the software, get it going, and you can start for free, but there's a premium account you're likely going to want to upgrade to because with the premium account, you get unlimited bandwidth which is really important, uh, servers around the world that you can connect to. You can privately torrent with their premium account and get past regionally blocked websites. And by the way, ProXPN Pro does not keep records of your online habits. So you go to ProXPN.com slash FTL to get the premium account at a sweet discount. Use code FTL50, FTL like Free Talk Live 50, as in the number 50, for 50% off 
of the annual account. That brings the price down to around 5 bucks a month. Pay with Bitcoin, you'll save even more with code FTLBTC. That gets you 62% off of the price of the annual account there. ProXPN.com slash FTL. Again, promo code FTL50 or FTLBTC. It's a great discount on privacy that is priceless, and there's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. You've got nothing to lose but your privacy as we go to your calls and thoughts. We go first to Scott, listening in Lake Isabella, California, to KVLI. Hey, Scott. Hi, how's it going, gentlemen? Welcome, sir. Um, You know, I was listening to... Diane Feinstein, give her, give her, um, I guess I I'll put it, uh, her condemnation speech of, of what has, or condemnation account of what had gone on. And it's like, I have to wonder, first off, I could have sworn, I heard you gentlemen talking about this before. This was, this was, this was, this was visited four years ago. Why is this being brought up again four years after it was already brought up? Are you talking about the torture and, thing? And, and, correct. Okay. Um, the the waterboarding thing because it wasn't it's not technically torture because it's waterboarding it's not torture. Pretty much waterboarding um, is what torture. we're talking. Yeah, well, well, pretty pretty much waterboarding oh, is what they're talking about. Um, is when they talk right. about torture. There oh, were other I, things I going on though, I, I, like forcing people correct. to stand on broken legs and broken feet and things like that. Yeah, they they were uh, feeding them uh, rectal rect- rectally, even if there was no medical need for it. So, so I mean, basically, you, they were talking rape. about a sexual assault. Yep. You're talking about uh, they were threatening to uh, to kill and to rape family members and stuff like that. I mean, there was some pretty also horrific- sleep deprivation, serious sleep deprivation yeah, as well. Yeah, have people stand on their feet for days and not let them sleep. Yeah, so Scott, uh, you know, this and, is and new I, information. I, I just like to clear that up. Problem, and I don't have a, I don't have a problem with that. They're, they're 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 prisoners of war. I mean, they came here to 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 try and kill our citizens. They they don't give a crap less well, about well, us. Well, you well, don't know a, what there's a whole mess going on here. So you've you've uh, said they're prisoners of war. They're not prisoners of war because there is no war. Well, okay. um, secondly. Well, you know Okay. A lot of these people were picked up on the say-so of some people that made some money by turning other folks in, so the flimsiest of uh, say-sos. So if I say, hey, Scott's a bad guy, I think he's working with the enemy, go get him, and I get 50 bucks for it, like, maybe you didn't do anything. Yeah, um, to, to make a claim that these people were trying to kill folks is to, you know, to have no evidence, because well, none statist. of them have been convicted. What it is, is it's a statist assumption. You assume that the government is good and efficient um, at this and they're bad at everything. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're, you are correct. They, yes. are, they, they, they do have some shortcomings in some areas. I, I will concur with you. But on when that. the military does yeah. it, is it always good and right and like efficient? No, you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've had a hard time with it, but I just, I just think that they're, if, if they're a threat to our nation and it's a threat to our national security, and they, and they. But you're taking their word us. for it, right? You're, you're, you're taking the government guys' word, who are known liars. Uh, you're taking their word for it. Well, they're, they're saying they're a threat to the security, so torture them. At some point, yeah, somebody's going to say that I'm a threat to some kind of security, and mm-hmm. they're going to do all sorts of terrible things to me. And this is why I'm so concerned about uh, a stupid, evil electorate <laughs> putting people into office because I, they buy this garbage. We have no I- You have no idea who these people are. And they're just like, hey, they're know, dangerous, I- so we're going to put food up their butts. I mean, come on, dude. Now I will say I you, you're making me reverse my 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 original position because my original position was you know let's look at what what our enemies are doing do do our en- are our enemies condemning each other for what they're doing to to their to the people that they capture who are these people enemies? are not my enemies I have no idea who they are I never would have met well, them had the United States government not gotten involved in all of this nonsense Wait a second yes our enemies are Iran is attacking ISIS ISIL or whatever you want to talk about it. So, yes, these people have their own agendas. If you assume that Iran's an enemy and you assume that ISIS is an enemy, and I think I can find a lot of Americans that will say that, and Iran's attacking ISIS, where do you, what do you do with that? Um, so the answer well, I was, is I was, I was absolutely. Kind of, stay out of it. I was, I was kind of referencing Russia, China, and North Korea, but, yeah, you could throw in Iran and ISIS as well, too. All right. Well, well, hold on. If I just like to clarify something here, China, China actually uh, denounced North Korea on some of their behavior relatively recently too. I don't like to think of people yeah. as my enemies, but if I were going to qualify someone as an enemy, it would be someone who is an active threat to my freedom, an active threat to my my liberty. And those people are in Washington D.C. and in Concord, New Hampshire, and calling themselves the police. If there's anybody who would qualify as an enemy, it would be those people. However, again, I don't like to use that term. I just think of them as misguided 
targeted individuals. And by the way, point of clarification, Chris Cantwell, you know, you suggested that our caller Scott here is stupid and evil. But after a brief bit, you know, two minutes of conversation, Scott is talking about changing his mind. So that says to me that's ignorance and we can wash away ignorance with information as long as people are willing to listen and consider ideas. And I think Scott is willing to do those and, things. And, and Scott, Scott, oh, Scott am, seems like a good guy. I, I, I'm just, you know, I'm a I'm a abrasive radio personality, but Scott seems like an all right guy. But the most of the people in this world, it doesn't matter what information you put in front of them, they'll continue to insist on right. their lunatic ideas. Confirmation bias did not show itself in Scott. And he, you know, like had every indication that we were going to see that early on. But the vast majority of people who call in, you're going to see a situation where they're um, uh, th- they're sticking to their guns, no matter what it is, uh, you know, and how they're shown otherwise. No, no, I, I always try to look at both sides of the of the issue, but it's just when it comes to this one, I, I, I guess it's like I, I don't have I. It's it's a tough call, guys. You know, it is a very tough call. But if you I if you constantly you're, 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 operate under the assumption that the government is wrong, you're going to be right more often than not. <laughs> well, that's a pretty that, safe that's, bet. And that's, and, that's, and that's the one problem I have is that in certain, certain situations, I end up trying to give the government the benefit of the doubt because Stop it. I want to think that our government <laughs> is looking out for our own best interest. You just haven't been paying and, attention. I mean, <laughs> yeah. if you're giving the government the benefit of the doubt, then I, I hope you never find yourself on trial or something because they certainly don't give the benefit of the doubt to you. Scott, I want to thank you for calling. No with this subject tonight. I do appreciate your thoughts and keep listening because uh, the more you pay attention to what the government does, the less often you'll ever give them the benefit of any kind of doubt. Thank you for the call tonight. Uh, The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, one police officer has written a blog post about how he doesn't care about his fellow man anymore. We'll find out why. It's Free Talk Live. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can't do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. hey, hey, hey. hey. Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't gonna make. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Holy oh, crap! Yeah, right. Whoa! Hey! Oh my God! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you're scared me. Property. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York Central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. 
The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Listen, you've heard the commercials before. Whether you owe 15000 or $15 million in tax debt to the IRS or state, we can help. On a never-ending payment plan? Penalties and interest killing you? Missing tax returns? Being garnished or levied? Not a problem. If you qualify, we can remove levies and garnishments within days or even hours of hiring our firm. If you've been summonsed, or even worse, receiving tax warrants in the mail, call right now. Are you a business owner with back payroll taxes? Is the IRS or state threatening to close your business you've worked so hard to build? Protect yourself and your business. Even if you've tried in the past, new guidelines could potentially qualify you today. So what are you waiting for? We can take that tax monkey off your back. Call the tax monkey now. 800-281-6030. 800-281-6030. 800-281-6030. That's 800-281-6030. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial in toll free. 855-450-FREE. Coming up, a cop is upset. He is tired of people not respecting him. Poor baby. And he has now stopped caring about you. As a result, we'll explain what his feelings are here in a little bit. Uh, with you in the studio tonight, you've got Ian. Cantwell. And Mark. And don't forget, you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com. Enjoy all the features that we share with you on the site there. And if you want to get some great gold and silver, you can go to gold dot freetalklive.com we've teamed up with Midas Resources in fact we've been teamed up with them for a long time uh, they're the company that actually operates our radio syndicate the company that helps us get on lots of radio stations around the country that's owned by Midas Resources and they do a great job at giving you real gold and silver not some piece of paper that promises that you'll have gold and silver if you change exchange the piece of paper but they ship you the actual product they're beautiful pieces available and they're, they're always changing the inventory so there's always something new that's, uh, that's coming in over at Midas. Go and check them out at gold.freetalklive.com. If you prefer to talk to somebody on the phone, you can call them up at 877-857-9938. Place your order the old-fashioned way, 877-857-9938. Or go to gold.freetalklive.com. As we go to your calls and thoughts, Pete is in Los Angeles. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Pete. Okay, two things. I'd like to comment about the cop first. You know my stance. You have to give respect to get respect. So if he doesn't like it too bad, he's the servant, not the other way around. Could have fooled me. Uh, There's no evidence that they okay. are servants of anyone but the state. They do not uh, serve well, you. They do not serve me. But that's the story. That's the story they tell uh, yeah, to get people to believe in them. Yes. Well, you know what the other thing is, though? You know, why don't... If, I mean, when are people going to wake up and say enough's enough? You choke me out for a cigarette, why don't people start shooting to kill? I mean, that's what they should do. Who's what? Shooting you know? to kill who, what? Be a little more clear, please. If, if, they, if, they keep, if they keep getting away with murder and choking people out over cigarettes and stupid stuff, why don't people start kicking the crap out of them? I mean, when there's a million protesters, when there's a lot of protesters in Barcelona, Spain, when the police were being abusive, they were beating them up, but then a lot more came, and the police back up in Oakland. Usually, in usually I'd, I'm not a big fan of Pete. I'm loving him today. He's <laughs> he's doing a good job. You know, I don't. I was well. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and ask that, uh, Pete some questions. I know that yeah. you're a good Christian guy, uh, Pete. No, he's not a good right. Christian. He's a terrible Christian. And I'm going to uh, ask, what would the Prince uh, of Peace say about this? The Prince of Peace would say that. They, you know, you'll know the police by their fruit, by their actions. So if they claim to be... That was going to be my uh, rebuttal to you, because you call in and you're always <laughs> angry when love, joy, peace, honest, goodness, faithfulness, self-control. I don't hear any of those things from you. Let me retort. You cut me off last time. Part of love is justice. You know, there's no such thing as mercy without justice. God's a just God. He has equal it's tough weight, love, Mark. Scales. So, you know, oh, you got jokes. Well, let me tell you something. What do you think should happen to this police officer that choked that guy out? You best believe it. He's going to get something 10 to 100 times worse from the Lord. He might get cancer. He might hit a car crash. Something might happen. 
You yeah, I'll let the karma movie. happen on my own. I'm not going to lower right. myself to their level. Chris Cantwell and I disagree on on this point, and I'm going to disagree coming. with you, Pete. Uh, I'm yeah. not going to lower myself to the level of a cop and use physical violence against them. I wouldn't mind seeing people take action when they see the police being abusive. I don't think there's anything wrong with a group of people who normally just stands around and cowers when the police do something. I like the idea of people actually stepping in, separating the police from whoever it is is that they are attacking, putting the police officer in their own handcuffs, and then just leaving them there. That, I think, would be uh, appropriate. But to you know, to, to use violence, I think you're just lowering yourself to their level. Are you in a firefight right now, Pete? There's something going on in the background. <laughs> I, 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 have to, I have to step in here and say I despise that line of thinking that you're lowering yourself to their level. And I just went over this. I you know, finally published the Carla video from Keenvention. I've got this up on my website, ChristopherCantwell.com right now, is that you're not lowering yourself to their level when you use violence against violent, dangerous people. That is just not accurate, right? When the police go out and, uh, you know, take a bad guy off the street who's actually victimizing people, well, you know, I don't agree with uh, being forced to subsidize everybody else's protection, but, you know, hey, that's a valuable service when they go and they they remove a threat to uh, uh, me and my fellow man. When they go out and they victimize innocent people when they're kidnapping people and throwing grenades at babies over plants, well, yeah, I get rather upset about that, and if somebody wanted to remove that threat from society, then they're not lowering themselves to the level of the people who victimize the innocent uh let's bring pete back there was some noise in the background i put him on hold there briefly uh, pete your thoughts yeah. yeah well even though i'm a conservative and you're a libertarian i'll tell you one thing we do agree about is common law no victim no crime but what you don't agree with me on is the you you talked about liberty i'm saying i'm liberty-minded and i said that where the spirit of the lord is there's liberty and freedom. You can't have freedom without Jesus Christ. So that's what I was trying to tell you. No freedom. All right, Chris, Jesus, now you no got him. Freedom. Here you go. No, 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 I'm done with him. I'm no done with him. He was good. He was good. He was good. And then you brought him back. We should have just hung up on him. And and, 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 and then he would have had a good He's call. He's saying you can't have freedom, Chris. You're an atheist. Well, you know, look, pal. You're darn right. You, you get on your knees and pray for freedom every single day, and I'll just keep on hating the government, and we'll see who comes out ahead. I don't know. I don't know what you're gonna We're being do, buddy. Punished. All right, That's fine. I'll be punished. I don't care if you. You know what? I think your God's a jerk, and I don't want to be his friend. Well, he's gonna take you down if you don't like it. Every knee shall bow. That's every fine. Shall confess. That's Even fine. You. It won't be the first Roman fight 14. that I lost. I got broken teeth and facial scars, Thanks, pal. Pete. Appreciate the Bring call it on, tonight. God. Toll-free number 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. So, you know, when I say bring, uh, bringing yourself to their level, you're lowering yourself to their level. Um, I, I guess I understand where you're coming from, Chris Cantwell, that I think that I agree with what you're saying on a principled basis. Like, okay, yeah, you're justified in using violence to uh, defend against a police attack. I think there's... There's justification for that. There's always justification for violence. I mean, there's always no, an excuse. No, there's, there's always not, a reason for there's it. There's not. There's absolutely no justification for violence when you throw a flashbang in a person's <laughs> baby's crib because you think that he might have some plants in there. From their perspective, care. it's the plants. Those are the that's the justification. Okay, well that's not a justification well, for I violence. I agree with you. Right? I mean, I'm so with you there. We have we have a baseline. Uh, uh, a, a situation where we say, hey, there's this line that you're not allowed to cross. And when mm -hmm. you do, then violence is the response. And the line is the violence. And if people can adhere to that standard, then there won't be any violence at all. Then there won't be any violence, right? Because then if you don't initiate force, then I won't use force against you and we can all live as a happy neighborhood full of people. Who we, don't, we don't even have to it's, be happy. We can hate each other. But we don't use violence against each other. And that's the only standard that I'm really trying to promote here. And there are people who cross that line every single day. They do it for a living and they say, hey, I'm just trying to feed my family, pal, which is I'm using violence for money. Mm -hmm. And that's what I hear from these people as their justification for violence. And that is uh, so, no, there's not always a justification for violence. There are people who will jump through hoops to try to make their violence sound justified. But that doesn't mean it's a justification. Well, um, so I would take a different tack on this is that uh, when violence is used against the police, especially retaliatory violence uh, by people in the liberty community, they're often portrayed as, you know, these lunatics. The news loves you when you do this kind of thing. And there's a, and, been a few and instances. And I love them too. <laughs> and um, I, I just, I don't, 
Well, even Chris Cantwell will admit and has in his blogs that it is not practical uh, to engage in violence against the police. In, in nearly all cases, it is not practical. And I mean, I just went into this the other day with, with the, the with the Stefan Molyneux put out a video about the Eric Garner thing. And he's like, well, you have to submit to the police because it's the law. And I was like, what? No, 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 no. You know, people don't submit to the police all the time. And, you know, we can say, uh, you know, maybe it, how much how much resistance should you pose to the police becomes the question. Then, well, what right? do you expect so, from a guy who advocates paying taxes? Well, that's exactly the yeah. It, yeah. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, that's uh, uh, exactly what we can expect from that you know right. avenue. And I think that Stefan Molyneux does great things to advance the uh, philosophy of liberty. I just wish he'd really take a backseat on the strategy thing. And and you mm -hmm. know, I think a lot of other people could afford to do that too, frankly. But the you know, in any case, the the, the... hold that thought. Go ahead. We'll come back with more of this discussion because it. It's not going to end here. I can tell you that. Uh, there are a lot no, of people no, not. who share Chris Cantwell's uh, viewpoint. I shared it at one point uh, in my life as well. I don't think violence is the solution, but I don't blame someone for feeling like that it is. Uh, 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number. You can share your thoughts on this or anything that's on your mind, and then we'll get the cops' thoughts in a moment. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial, the fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the fully informed jury association at FIJA.org. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. It's that time of year again, and you know what that means. Cold and flu season. <coughs> but don't worry. HerbalHealer.com has you and your loved ones covered with our safe and natural products. Cold and flu fighters like beta-glucans, olive leaf antiviral capsules, grapefruit seed extract, HHA four herb capsules, elderberry power, and respirate. And don't forget about oregacillin for the lungs, normally $34.95, on sale now for only $25. Vitamin D3 120-count soft gels, only $9. Whole body and homeopathic detoxes for the lungs, kidneys, liver, lymph, and brain, normally $26.95, now just $20. HerbalHealer.com also offers correspondence courses to teach you how to handle your health naturally. And as always, new customers get a free 128-page catalog with your order. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click the Winter Specials button to save on our natural cold and flu-fighting products. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, 
you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can take control of the airwaves. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We also invite you to call in on Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. Coming up, Lieutenant from the Wisconsin uh, Police Department uh, Division of DeForest, I guess is where he's from. He says next he, to the lake. he has stopped caring about his fellow man. We will uh, give you the details on that here and why. Why is he saying that? Chris Campbell brought in the story, but first we go back to your calls and thoughts. Also want to invite you to freetalklive.com. It is the holiday shopping season, and if you haven't gotten it done yet, or maybe you already have and you just want to buy some stuff for yourself, whatever, whatever you need to buy, you can probably get through Amazon, and you can get it through our affiliate links, which means Free Talk Live gets a cut of the sale. There's Amazon UK, Canada, and US. You just go to shop.freetalklive.com. Enter into the appropriate Amazon for you, and then just do your normal shopping as you normally would and feel good because a, a portion of Amazon's profits goes to Free Talk Live. So get your shopping done through shop.freetalklive.com. As we go to Zach, Zach, uh, where are you calling from tonight? And you are on Skype. Uh, Minneapolis. Ah, welcome, sir. Go ahead. Um, I'm sorry. I just needed to just say some stuff out loud, I guess, with with people who think like me because there's not a lot of us here in Minneapolis. You guys are sucking them all to New Hampshire. Um, Get in the car this, and go. <laughs> <laughs> um, with, with the stuff with this torture nonsense, it, it just astounds me how many Americans support this garbage. And I'm going to try to keep this radio friendly. You're going to um, need to. <laughs> I mean, like, and I'm, I have to invoke Godwin's law, you know, at least there there's some accounts that Germans didn't quite know what was going on, at least till the end. Mm. You know, they had kind of an inkling, but at least they had some deniability. I, I've had conversations with a, with a lot of my friends here over the past 48 hours about this, and I haven't had a single person take take a position against what happened to oh, these no. people. You, I mean, just to be clear, uh, you haven't had a single conversation with friends who have not been, none of your friends have been opposed to the torture. Yes. Your friends wow. suck. And, <laughs> and, and even even after, because, uh, you know, I'll, I'm just making up a number. I'll say 80% of them think it was only waterboarding, and probably most of them don't even know what that means. Mm, of course but not. But then I, I, I told them, you know, that I saw the same article you guys talked about last night where... They, they really highlighted just some of these atrocities. Uh, I'm going to call them war crimes that were that were done to these people. Now, were all those, you know, fellas good guys? Probably not. But they, they've been picked up on the shakiest of evidence and and what was done to these humans. Because, you know, people will put labels on them just to make it easier to, to justify these things. To dehumanize know? them, yes. Yeah. Exactly, and that makes it easier to... They're killers. They're terrorists, even though nothing's ever been proven ever in a court of law about these people. They've just been held against their will. Not, uh, that, not that being proven guilty in a court of law proves that much these days that's either. That's true, but, Chris. But, go, yeah, but they didn't I, even I, bother. I, yeah, you you know? didn't even go that far. You know? <laughs> no evidence you has been even, presented. You couldn't even set up a, 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 what are you, a, a kangaroo, kangaroo court. court. Yeah. You couldn't even give them a military tribunal right. before you <laughs> yeah. locked them in a cage and nope. stuffed food up his button made him stand awake for days <laughs> on a broken yeah. leg and you know these these people if if even one of them was completely innocent which i'd say is probably a fair bet oh yeah you they've you released know, some of them from guantanamo yeah he he's the next terrorist if you want to call him that i mean mm -hmm. i would be 
you know, you, you go home and, and you think what was done to you, right. I might burn a flag too. Well, I yeah, mean, you, let's, you know, let's, if, if you were going I to create I might shoot a, one with a shotgun and set it on fire, <laughs> yeah. If you wanted to create a terrorist, how would you go about doing that? And, you know, a good way is to incarcerate them with no trial and no release date and to torture them while they're, you know, what they feel is torture. I would call it torture, too. Um, would torture them while they're in there. Maybe kill one of their family members, probably a male, just because that's uh, more plausible. That, that, that makes that looks better. And, uh, you know, kill the babies. That'll make them into terrorists. It, it, certainly there's plenty of babies that have been killed yep. um, in these wars. And maybe that, rape their teenage daughters. There you go. Well, there, there have been some rapes, yep. but the U.S. government doesn't condone that. They will make excuses about killing your baby. They will. They only don't condone it when it's caught when they get caught red-handed. Well, they just deny it otherwise, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, Zach, tell me more about your conversations with your friends. So, when you point out to them that hey, it's more than just the waterboarding, even if you can't convince them about why water waterboarding is actually torture, uh, what are they saying when you you know point out that they're forced anally uh, rectal, or rectally feeding them, uh, that they are forcing people to stand on broken legs and feet, uh, they are you know that they're depriving them of sleep, etc. Well, usually the the next thing that I mean, if I gave you three guesses, you'd probably get to it. But Mark. the one card that they <laughs> that they bring up, you know, nine eleven. They, they just keep oh, everything 9-11. <laughs> you see the, the Family Guy episode where Lois runs for office? And, <laughs> and she's just like, every answer to every question is 9-11, support the troops. Like, <laughs> nonsense like that. Did I'm she so, win? Uh, yeah, she yeah. did. <laughs> I'm sorry, but go yeah, ahead with yeah. your point. Just I just had to interject that. This 9-11 nonsense and, and the, the ticking time bomb. And what if it saved your kids and... You know, they Jeez, in the the smoking state. God could be a mushroom cloud. Now, is this the Zach, just to clarify, is this the Zach who's called us from Minnesota in the past who at one time was training to be a police officer? Yeah, yes, sir. Um, you, you to you and Mark, uh, I'm going to say you saved my life <laughs> because right. it, it was, I mean, back in 2007, I think is when I discovered you guys just on a iTunes search and I was going to school actively and I think the first time I called in, I remember pretty vividly, I, I said I wanted to be a uh, FBI SWAT member. And um, I think it was Ian just about lost his mind. And, um, yeah, ever since then, listening to Free Talk Live introduced me to these concepts. And I've done, you know, my own self-exploration and education. And now I'm no friend of the police whatsoever. But um, wait, wait. So that was going to lead me to my next question. So you, you know, you aren't a police officer as a result of finding the ideas of liberty and sort of changing your career path uh, before you went too far with it. But doesn't, you know, I, I was just presuming that you still kind of know those people. Are those your friends? You know, do you have a lot of cop friends? Is that who you're talking to? Are these all a bunch of conservatives? Or, you know, what are the political leanings of uh, folks here? Because it certainly seems that conservative folks are upset about this because the torture report basically indicts mostly George Bush years. Yeah, um, I, I still have many friends and acquaintances in that world just because it was a large part of my life for some time. Um, and of course, all of them are, you know, and they're flag waving Republicans. Right. They've unfriended you on Facebook then, because I see you uh, see what you post on Facebook now and then. <laughs> what about uh, liber liberals? Do you have uh, lefties who are friends of yours and that you've had this conversation with as well? Uh, not yet. Okay. Uh, just because this info is so new, I haven't had any conversations with any of those folks. But okay. uh, the ones I have talked to are my my military comrades, because that was a part of my life. And uh, some of these law enforcement folks. So, yeah, more right of center. So I'm not really surprised now, right? Like that, you know, those have been your conversations with people coming from that perspective. And they, of course, are the ones who are the most upset about this news uh, coming out. But nonetheless, you, you know, if, if you if you moved here, Zach, you'd be surrounded by people like us who I end up talking about things that have nothing to do with liberty with, with folks here. Because it's just like boring. Like we already what get the talk point 99 percent of the time. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> it's so much better than living in New York where everybody's just like, oh, a government program. Never met one. I didn't like. Yeah, exactly. So uh, are you planning on coming out to New Hampshire at all? Or are you, you stuck out there? Yeah, um, uh, well, I'm a signer. Oh, and, great. Um, you know, it, it's still it's it's shaky on a on a time frame. Uh, I want to get out there as soon as possible, but I'm still trying to convince the, the warden. Um, <laughs> and I, I am going to make my first trip to Porkfest, though, next year. I've already. Oh, that's great. Out are you bringing the warden? 
uh, will to be determined. All right, you got to you got to bring the warden to Pork Fest because because well, uh, it's really a big converter for um, the the gals. I assume we're talking about uh, the love of your life. Um, and uh, the, once they get a chance to be with the other uh, ladies. They usually tend to It'll soften them up. Yeah, it softens them up. Give hey. her some mushrooms. Give her a hula hoop. There it's you on, go. Man. Hey, thanks for the call, Zach. Thanks, Appreciate guys. hearing from you. Uh, <laughs> That's only one aspect of it. Did you when do that <laughs> at Porkfest? Chris Campbell, I'm imagining you now with the mushrooms uh, tripping and doing a hula hoop. I didn't do a hula hoop, but I did eat mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> if you had been given a hula hoop, would you have hula hoop? There's, there's a good possibility of that. So Porkfest, good time. Go to porkfest.com, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T.com. It's a yearly camping festival thrown by the Free State Project. That's what we're referring to, uh, or at least I'm referring to when I'm talking about moving to New Hampshire. Chris Cantwell, not as much of a fan. Free State Movement. The- Free State Project itself, but the idea of moving people who love liberty to New Hampshire, you are fully in favor of that. Huge fan of that. Uh, You're a signer of the Shire Society uh, Declaration, which you can go to shiresociety.com, but freestateproject.org is where there are over 16,000 people who have pledged to make the move to New Hampshire, as many of us have already done. You sign up with the corporation. (laughs) So we'll uh, come back with more here in moments. 855 450 free. Hour number three is on the way. And uh, we'll get to the angry cop coming up. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. You've heard of Black Friday doorbuster deals. Well, don't miss Lumber Liquidator's Floor Buster deals. Get incredible discounts on your favorite floors at one-time only prices. There's never been a better time to get a great deal on pre-finished hardwoods, hand-scraped hardwoods, gorgeous bamboo, top-quality laminates, and get 26 months special financing. Plus, get even more Floor Buster discounts in our stores. The sale ends Tuesday. These deals will not wait until after the holidays. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 10th, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,229, silver around $17.06, and Bitcoin is trading around $352.28. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. The Liberty Beat is sponsored by eFoods Direct Storable Food. With a menu of food that's so good, so easy to make, you'll find yourself eating it every day even though it has a shelf life of up to 25 years. Visit eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 and mention Liberty Beat to get a 10% listener discount. In the news, on Tuesday, Senator Dianne Feinstein presented the Senate Intelligence Committee's summary of the report on torture by the CIA. Senate Intelligence Committee staff reviewed the treatment of 119 people with at least 39 of them being tortured. The 499-page summary details torture of detainees between January of 2003 and August of 2003. Some of the techniques include water dousing, ice water baths, subjection to nudity, dietary manipulation, 
insult slaps, abdominal slaps, attention grasps, facial holds, walling, and stress positions. The CIA called the report inaccurate, while the White House did its best to remain neutral. A letter released through a Freedom of Information Act request has revealed that former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger pressured the Indian government to accept a settlement for the 1984 gas disaster in Bhopal. Kissinger, who was serving as an advisor to Union Carbide, pressured India's Prime Minister to accept an agreement following the disaster that killed 25,000 people. Activists in Bhopal obtained a letter from Indian steel magnate J.R.D. Tata to India's Prime Minister, which stressed Kissinger's desire for a deal to be reached. Following Kissinger's encouragement, the Indian government agreed to a settlement of $470 million and dropped all charges against Union Carbide. Today's broadcast of the Liberty Beat is made possible by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Margie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 10th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. On Tuesday, an Egyptian pro-democracy activist was sentenced to three years in prison for insulting the court after he accused the judge of bias. Ahmed Dama was a prominent activist in the 2011 Arab Spring and has been accused of attacking a government building and security officers. Dama called the charges political and denounced the trial. Indigenous groups living on both sides of the Brazil-Peru border in the Amazon say they're ready to fight with spears, bows, and arrows if oil companies attempt to enter their territories. The Matsi sub Brazil and Peru have been opposing Canadian-based Pacific Rubialis Energy for at least five years, with little support or attention from government agencies. Villagers told Intercontinental Cry that they would take up arms if their concerns are not heard. The Matsi signed a declaration detailing the impact oil operations would have on the community and the environment. The Houston, Texas Police Department will investigate the actions of one of its officers caught on camera attempting to delete video footage after arresting a man who was open carrying a firearm. The unidentified man was stopped by an HPD officer and handcuffed for not having identification while carrying an AR-15. He was filming during the entire confrontation. After placing the man in the back of the vehicle, the officer can be seen attempting to delete the footage from the camera. And the well-known and widely used peer-to-peer -peer file sharing website, The Pirate Bay, has been knocked offline. That follows a police raid that was conducted on the company's Stockholm, Sweden premises. Today's broadcast of Liberty Beat made possible by Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, December 10th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. It's being called the must-have tech gadget of the year. The Samsung Apex, which hits shelves today, streams video into your left eye, internet into your right eye, and sucks your dick all at the same time. Samsung spokesman Neil Werner is projecting the biggest sales in his company's history. Are you kidding me? This thing does everything, plus it sucks your dick, all right? And I know what you're thinking, and yes, ladies, there is a version for you that eats you out. Hanging up Apple, we beat you the punch on this one. Samsung's got you by the balls. In spite of the almost $1,000 price tag, customers are raving about the device. For my career, I do need uh, the internet and TV and my dick sucked all the time. I already have a TV and a girlfriend and a laptop, but to have all those in one device would be really nice. Even a run of bad press about unsafe working conditions in the Apex factory in India have not dampened sales projections. Yeah, 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 factory, factory, switch up, switch up, blah, blah. How about you just plug your eyeball straight into the internet and get your dick sucked? This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You may take control of the airwaves by dialing in toll-free 
855-450 free that's 855-450-3733 uh we have talked about the torture memo i guess not really a memo torture report 500 some pages with some pretty horrifying uh, revelations which many people just don't seem to care about we had a guy call in the last hour saying that uh you know he's talked to all kinds of people in his life they're mostly conservative types and they are just they just do not care about uh, the fact that the United States has tortured. They embrace it. Uh, as one guy called earlier, and to, to the guy who called earlier's credit, he kind of changed his mind as we had the discussion about it. But his initial viewpoint was, well, hey, you know, they've been arrested. Uh, they've been taken into custody by the government, and you got to give the government the benefit of the doubt. You know, these are guys are terrorists. Torture them. Well, let the government give Ross Ulbricht the benefit of the doubt and, mm. you know, all these other two and a quarter million people in their prisons. Yeah, so uh, if you want to talk about torture, you certainly can. I think it's uh, it's horrifying, and we talked about it in, well, in great detail last night, by Usually, the um, when you're talking to somebody about torture and they support the torture, they're going to be the conservative type, right? Mm -hmm. Well, with the conservative types, you have to take the tack of uh, talking to them about the efficiency of government. Because conservatives generally are going to say the government is an inefficient organization. They have a blind spot, usually, for government bureaucrats that carry guns. And when they have that, you've got to point out that, look, government doesn't get efficient when you arm them. That's ludicrous. Yeah. That is a that is a fallacious point of view. And usually they can the vapor will quickly. Oh well, yeah, we understand it's uh, you know when 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 the IRS comes after you or uh, whatever that the that that welfare can't figure out that half of its uh, participants are committing fraud, but that the somehow the United States military half of the people that they've snatched up for um, you know terrorism or whatever they're claiming those those people are, are are clearly guilty yeah i don't i don't see that fog getting lifted when i talk to those people frequently at all you're maybe usually i'm mean doing to them it wrong and mean people don't uh, change when, when you're mean to people that doesn't change their mind it's but just there's a reason that people. i became mean mark you understand this, I understand. right like i was a decent human being once upon a time really? and then i started talking to these lunatics and i was like all right that's it i'm done you i hate you yeah well thank you for not uh, actually calling them what you might have called them yeah uh, yeah no, when in kind. doubt leave it out yeah. right you know right uh, <laughs> f s bag <laughs> F you, you know, that doesn't certainly doesn't encourage people to listen to what it is that you have to say. But I can understand the the source of your frustration. Chris I tell Campbell. this to my wife on a relatively regular basis when Call she her takes an the, when she takes this tone <laughs> with me, and is this that look. I may be wrong and I may be stupid, but stupid people don't listen to you more when you treat them like they're morons. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they just they get angry. In, do you have any idea how many... <laughs> go read the comments on my blog. <laughs> people are so, hate me so much, but they read my blog every single day just to have something to complain about. This is what. This is why people are terrible, right? Like, they want... They want to be angry and miserable, and there's so many of them out there, and I just give them exactly what they're looking for. Well, now some of the police are angry and miserable because the game is up for them. Uh, a lot of people in the United States are getting turned on to the violence of the police. And it's not just the last two weeks. You know, it's just come to a head in the last couple of weeks with the whole Ferguson thing and, and then the Eric Garner as well, which was a, clearly a much more obvious bad cop situation. Like, there's no doubt out the eric garner situation was horrifying and terrible yeah. uh, on the part of the police unlike ferguson where there's you know some differing opinions about what actually happened right but, pretty much when you strangle a man on the streets of manhattan and in yeah. front of a camera <laughs> you know because he was selling cigarettes you know there's a little bit less doubt there you know but of course but our, it's been going on forever I our, mean, our liberal friends are all concerned about race instead of taxation or, or uh you strangling. Know, the authority of the state they're just like, hey, Black Lives Matter. And I'm like, well, I don't disagree with that premise, but maybe that's not the issue. Yeah, the issue is the violence against uh, peaceful people. And that's been going on for a long time. And throughout all of these iterations of police, you know, getting away with murder and arson and rape and, you know, on and on and on, what, you know, the stuff they can get away with. Usually, of course, they're investigated by their own people and then they're given a clean bill of uh, sale or whatever bill of health and released back into the world to do more violence i think the uh, next people. time like i get accused of something i'm gonna i want you guys to investigate me like instead of the police department and then we'll just make sure that i'm uh you know held accountable that way and so throughout i'm gonna need a payoff all of this violence throughout all of the continued violence by many police agents 
there have been those who have been making excuses for them and have been supporting the police. And, you know, they still are out there. I mean, the guy in the Ferguson situation got a $500,000 from police supporters, from what I understand, enough to where he said, screw this, I'm retiring right <laughs> like now. the best thing that ever happened to him. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, so, you know, but, but things are starting to change for the police and how they are treated and how they are uh, not respected anymore by people. And Lieutenant Daniel Furseth has a few things to say about it. Chris Campbell, you brought in this story from nycfirewire.com, apparently some sort of police website. Yeah, it's a, it's some sort of uh, police and firefighter blog, apparently, and it was actually uh, given to me by a reader, and I'll probably write a rather scathing response to this at ChristopherCantwell.com. So if you go over there, you go to ChristopherCantwell.com slash subscribe, then you'll get notified when uh, when I do write the, uh, the response. But I want to bring this to Free Talk Live. I had okay. just seen it right as I was on my way over here. I thought that this was just gold. So he starts off, he says, uh, today I stopped caring about my fellow man. I stopped caring about my community, my neighbors, and those I serve. I stopped caring today because a once noble profession has become despised, hated, distrusted, and mostly unwanted. I stopped caring today because parents refuse to teach their kids right from wrong and blame us when they are caught breaking the law. I stopped That's caring- right. It's the parents' fault is why things are so bad today and that people don't respect the police. If parents would only teach their kids better, then well, the cops would be respected. The, I, I would say that it, to some extent, and it's the law, right? Like the, you know, yes, I was taught to understand that, uh, you know, to respect the law. But at some point, when you write enough laws, then everybody breaks them. Mm-hmm. And we've had police officers call this show and say that they can go into anybody's car and anybody's home and find a reason to arrest them Absolutely. if that's what they want to do. So I think that we the problem is is that we have too many laws. Not the law enforcers uh, so much, but if they had far fewer laws, you know, just clear ones that people could, uh, you know, could know what was going on. None of this stuff where there has no victim. Right. People wouldn't have the problem with police. They do. I I don't I don't actually disagree with the guy that, that that a lot of this comes from the parents. I mean, it's not that they should be teaching the kids to respect the police. They should teach the kids to be responsible and think for themselves instead of sending them off to government education camps or, or they call them public schools or the prisons. Uh, I I think that that's you know largely responsible for. It. All of that, but I he, think that's true. I mean, it's certainly yeah. the parents' responsibility to do the best they can for the kids, and sending your kids to government school isn't doing the best you can. Yeah, if you if you send the the, the government to raise your children, just don't be surprised if graduate school is in the back of a police car. Mm. Um, so he continues, I stopped caring today because parents tell their little kids to be good, or the quote, the police will take you away, embedding a fear from year one. You know, that's a really great point, Cantwell. Is that the vast majority of people that are in prison? The government had them for you know, a decade in their schools yep. before that. So, like, you know, they, um, <clears throat> you're claiming that people are, that the parents didn't do a good enough job, but let's not forget where the kids spent half of their waking hours in the hands of the state. So, some of them, even more, the ones that were actually like in foster care or uh, that were actually in the state care. There, there are a lot that go to school early for early breakfast, too. Um, and so there's that, you know, early free breakfast. So, you know, I mean, at, at what point does it be? Uh, how many hours a day does the government need to have your kid before it's finally their stinking responsibility? I mean, we love to pass it off on the parents. And I think that I genuinely think that is, uh, you know, has a large part to do with the parents. But. You know, why does the government get a pass in this? Why does this state paycheck receiving bureaucrat get to point his finger at parents and say it's their fault when his fellow bureaucrats had control of their kids half the day every weekday? Well, because it's the same thing. It's the same thing like we were talking about our conservative friends earlier. Like law enforcement just thinks that they're this completely different class of bureaucrat, right? Like they don't – By like, all evidence exactly, they are. But like police officers are just like, oh, I don't like the government either. I'm like, hello, look in the mirror, dummy. The average bureaucrat doesn't get a parade when they die, this but is the how, law enforcers do. This sure is how do. it is with firefighters too, that they, they you know, they, they tend to be the conservative types. But man, oh, man, they love that uh, – the firefighter union. All right, we'll come back with more here. 855 450 free. We're just getting started on this cop and why he doesn't care about people anymore. This is Free Talk Live. 
So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a free, a great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, "Let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas." There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, December 10th, 2014, gold opened at 1230.20. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1275.35, 637.67 for a half ounce, or 318.84 for a quarter ounce. That's 1275.35, 637.67, and 318.84. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Lil Drums. Every bit as fun as a full-size Nestle drumstick cone and definitely cuter. Visit us at drumstick.com. Vacations are all about family time, but you don't have to leave home to have fun. Take one weekend a month and devote it to family activities. Pull out the board games and puzzles, serve up some treats, or have a picnic. Even without leaving home, you'll feel like you've really had some time away. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, take control toll free. The number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And tis the season to get some gifts. Mark, what's a recommended gift? I'm recommending In Freedom's Cause. It is audio theater. The best audio theater I think I've ever listened to, but certainly in, in some time. It's amazing stuff. It's It's got its own score that was produced 
for it. That's amazing. It's uh, that you can get this uh, this audio, which is movie level production with top level actors and actresses like Skandar Keynes from Chronicles of Narnia, Joanne Froggett from Downton Abbey, Billy Boyd from Lord of the Rings, James Cosmo from Braveheart, all collected together in this pro liberty. Uh, history lesson because it's it's William Wallace, Robert the Bruce, their story, and the struggle for freedom and independence in uh, Scotland. And I think you're gonna your family's gonna love it. There's a lot of parallels between uh, the struggle for liberty in Scotland and uh, here the Revolutionary War in the United States. So. And by the way, there's a study guide, too. Now, you don't have to study it. This, as a matter of fact, we didn't do that at my house. We listened to it, and Jack was enthralled in it. My wife really enjoyed it, too. Uh, this isn't just for male kids. It's, uh, there's strong female characters in this also. In freedomscause.com, there's a special offer for Free Talk Live listeners. Use coupon code FTL. That's FTL as in Free Talk Live. Get the family four-pack of CDs at half price. Go there. Get the family four-pack. Half price, coupon code FTL, in freedomscause.com. We're going to get back into this cop over at nycfirewire.com who is speaking out as to why it is he doesn't care anymore about other people. We'll uh, explain from his own words in moments. But first, Nathan is on in Texas via Skype. Hello, Nathan. Evening, everyone. Hey there. Uh, so uh, Mark and uh, Cantwell said some interesting comments earlier. Uh, Cantwell suggested that people were not smart and evil, and Mark said that they were not smart and good. Is that kind of roughly what happened? Yeah. Yep. Well, it made me. Uh, it reminded me of uh, the Socratic virtue, uh, or the, the the Socratic saying that uh, ignorance um, is the same as a lack of knowledge, and therefore virtue is something that can be taught. And uh, this line of reasoning appears in a dialogue. It's a uh, you know short um, uh, short uh, narrative where Socrates debates with someone, and uh, I think this one's called Protagoras. Protagoras, and uh, in it, Socrates basically suggests that uh, one of the qualities of virtue is avoiding pain and gaining pleasure, and that since this is something that can be taught, uh, therefore virtue and knowledge are virtue is a form of knowledge and i was uh, curious what you guys thought of that well for for me anyway i mean a large part of my calling people stupid is that they actually just they are physically lacking the the power of the mental organ that that, that their brains it it doesn't matter what you teach them that they are not going to be smart that said you could teach them to be good uh, so that, you know, there's there's a potential for all people to be good or bad. I don't believe that people are inherently evil, but they have this tendency, and a lot of that is, you know, the result of the state, but the state is also the result of that. So, Do you think people are inherently good by birth, and then they become evil? I don't believe that they are inherently either. That, mm -hmm. that basically the all blank of, slate? Yeah, that people, you know, you you have choices that you make in this world, and you are you are born into this world with some choices made for you by your parents and stuff like that. But over the course of time, you will get to make millions and millions and millions of decisions, and those will be what equates to you being a good person or a terrible quality human being. Well, sure. And uh, I, I kind of tend to think that a lot of bad things in the world come from bad ideas. So in the sense that people are ignorant of good ideas, then I agree with the claim that virtue uh, can be taught. Um but I, I do have a, one problem with it, though, which is that it seems like you were saying like some people, I don't know if they're stupid or how you would say it, but some people, it seems like no matter what kind of logic or evidence uh, you bring up to them, I think the previous caller, Zach, had, had, some, had some friends who were kind of like this. Uh, like they're impervious to logic, and are they are they being willfully ignorant, or are they just uh, you know have the state blinders on? They just can't see past. Well, you know, I think propaganda. confirmation I bias. I think confirmation bias and uh, cognitive dissonance. Well, the confirmation bias that somehow eclipses uh, cognitive dissonance, uh, but these phenomenons that are surround these things, I think that's just very human. You don't have to be stupid to. Um, you know, just not see what's directly in front of your face, but if if presented over and over again, and you get it, like at some point or another, you're just digging your heels in to uh, you know to to stay on one team's side. I do think that virtue uh, is something that can be learned, as it's uh, described, um, and I think that, but that doesn't to me indicate intelligence. It simply indicates uh, the ability to learn a you know how to get by. 
Yeah, I um in in the case of somebody who is look for a long time I was like a Fox News zombie, okay? So like I thought, you know, Sean Hannity and Bill O'Reilly were really great people, right? And so but there were times when I'd get into arguments with people about wars and stuff like that where I knew I absolutely knew that I was just repeating a position that didn't have any basis in reality and I was just I was just standing up for my team. That's mm. bad, okay? I'm doing a bad thing. I know I'm doing a bad thing and I'm doing it anyway. And there's a comes a point when anybody's when anybody is arguing in favor of the state, there comes a point where they're doing that. And at that point they go from it's not a simple matter of hey, I'm unaware and acting in an unaware fashion. Now I'm doing something bad. Now I'm advocating violence, I'm doing terrible things to my fellow man. Because I just want to do it. Thanks, Nathan, for your call tonight. I appreciate it. Evan is in New York. You're on Free Talk Live. Evan. Hello? Hi, Evan. You're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah. Two questions. Uh, what happened to Julia? Uh, she is not on the show anymore. A number of our co-hosts, you know, sort of move on that, but in I, life. Yeah, I just didn't know, like, it was. She lives in Keene. Okay. Uh, with her boyfriend. Oh, okay. She's still in New Hampshire. Okay. I bet yeah, she, she, lives, she, lives she just doesn't like Ian anymore. <laughs> We're still friends on Facebook. Well, f- she's a critic. Friends. Let's just say that. She's very critical of a lot of the things that I do. But that's not the reason why uh, she's off the I didn't kick her off the show. No, she left no, that is not volition. true. That that is absolutely true. Um Ian, you know, Ian would love to have somebody who disagrees with him on this show at a regular basis. She left on her own volition. So there you go. Oh, <laughs> okay, because that. Uh, one time I thought there was a thing between you, but, you know. I oh, yeah, know yeah. That. We uh, we were together for a while. Twice. That's okay. true. Okay. Was so that all? Did question, you have anything else? No, no, no. Next question is so like, it's sort of related to, like, female relationships in general. Uh, there's a girl that <clears throat> I'm kind of into, and I'm trying to figure out if she's, like, into me. I asked her out a couple of times. She went out once um, with me, and then... She's been like sort of like wishy washy since then. It's probably a and bad sign. Basically, I, yeah, and then I gave up on it. And then one of our mutual friends just came up to me like, "Hey, she's really actually really into you. You have to like keep asking her out." And I'm like, "But I've already asked a few times, so I'm just confused, and I don't want to waste my time because I feel like I'm." Hmm. If you're of, still like, interested, people. I would say it was worth the trouble to uh, throw your friend under the bus and say, "Hey, uh, Julie said that uh, you'd still be interested in, uh, you know, I, like I like you. I'd like to go out with you." Julie said you'd still be. She came up to me and said you'd still be interested. So, is that true? Is that so? <laughs> you want to go out? <laughs> I, I disagree. Okay. With, I disagree right. with him. I, I I think that you disagree with us or Mark. I, yeah, with Mark. Right, hang I, on, I, hang yeah. on, hang on. We'll get to get to that. Evan, hang on. We'll uh, continue the discussion here in moments. Eight fifty five, four fifty. Free relationship advice. We do that too here on Free Talk Live. Anything you want to discuss. Eight fifty five, four fifty. Free. There's more coming up. It's Free Talk Live. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. It's the video sensation that's taking the internet by storm. A web series on YouTube passed the 100 views mark this week. Titled Andrew and John, the wildly popular webisodes feature roommates Andrew Vanier and John Haney playing fictionalized versions of themselves in unusual situations, mostly set in and around their Chicago apartment. Dude. Did you get my tart? What's a tart? 
Oh, you just texted me a fart. Their latest short titled Laundry Day reached the unprecedented 100 view milestone this week after a heavy promotional push in which the duo posted the skits to their Facebook pages. The hit video features the roommates wearing unconventional outfits while scrounging up enough change to do laundry in their basement. Other popular episodes include Foreign Landlord featuring John's friend Brett from work and a video where Andrew suspects John might be a zombie. Our videos consistently get over 50 views now, but Laundry Day, that's the first mm -hmm. one that's really taken off. Yeah, everyone I know has seen it. It's completely viral. This is the Onion News Network. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. Rats is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. Rats was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. Rats is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download Rats free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, dial in toll free, 855-450 free. If we get the chance, we'll continue with the lieutenant with the Wisconsin Police Department uh, in DeForest speaking out about why he is not caring about people anymore. His fellow man, he says he doesn't care, and he'll explain why. Uh, we're going to get back into that. With you in the studio tonight, it's Ian. Cantwell. And Mark. Don't forget to join Christopher Cantwell on his blog over at ChristopherCantwell.com. Uh, Chris, what's fresh over there? What's fresh? Well, I just published uh, a, a list of eight online dating tips just for the ladies. Oh, well, we're actually talking about relationships right now. And that's that's fact. why I felt compelled to, to chime in with the gentleman, because I am uh, I'm something of the relationship expert, as oh, you God. might imagine. I, you have juggled uh, multiple women at, at one time, which is a very impressive uh, task. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm a juggler of uh, femininity and uh, and all I'd sorts say of... say pretty much any woman could do that if she wanted. Like juggle guys, you know, have as many as she yeah, wants. Yeah, I didn't say a woman couldn't do that. Just saying. I, I just yeah, said that no, was impressive. They, they could they could do it, you know, but uh, like I wouldn't want to do it. It would be way too much. But work. you know what? A lot of these, you know, no, 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 that's, that's not actually true. Because the truth of the matter is, what I realized in the course of especially online dating, but dating in general, is that women are just as clueless about this stuff as we are. Okay, mm. and that's that was sort of the premise of the thing. So like, I'm on the dating sites, and and it's like it's as if these women have no idea how to attract a man, which is probably why they were doing the online dating thing in the first place. Because you know, if they had a, a freaking clue, they'd be you know getting picked up in bars or whatever, right? Mm. Uh, but you know, they're online and they're uh, you know they they've got you know it's their, their profile picture is just a picture of their kid, and I'm like, I don't want to date your daughter, stupid. I'm looking for you. What are you doing? So I I wrote some uh, some tips for them. I wrote about uh, there's a uh, some concerns that I had. I've been experimenting with nootropics, took a bunch of stimulants in the process, and some of these things are dangerous drugs that you have to be really careful with. And mm. I'm guinea pigging myself just for you folks at home. Uh, so the check it out, you do for the audience, Christopher Cantwell. 
Basketball.com. I put <laughs> my I dedication. put my my uh, uh, I, I put my sex organs and my uh, and my uh, cardiovascular and brain <laughs> systems on the line just for you, and uh, and I get paid very poorly for it. So donate <laughs> some money, will you? The link is over at ChristopherCampbell.com if you want to donate, throw something his way for all of the efforts. Let's go back to Evan though. He says he went on a date with a girl. And then he tried to go on a further date with a girl, and he was she was just kind of beating around the bush, not really committing to going on that second date. To me, that sounds like she's not interested. But then you said there was a mutual friend who came to you and said, Evan, this girl, she actually really likes you. You've got to ask her out again. And, Chris, you were saying don't do it. Can you expound, expound well, on that? Well, what, 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 what Mark had suggested was that you go to the girl and you say, hey, the other one told me X, Y, Z, right? And and I said, well, don't do that because to to me, okay, listen, my in my opinion, what, what women want from a man is a guy who's going to like take charge of a situation, okay? And if, you, and if you go to her and you say, hey, I'm coming to you because so-and-so instructed me to, you're going to look weak. And I don't think that that's a good thing to do in a relationship with a woman. You want to be like the dominant, you want to be alpha male. Male, okay? What should he do then? So he should, if he wants to see this girl again, he should try one more time, one more time to just go and say, "Hey, would you like to come and do this thing with me?" And make sure mm-hmm. it's a good thing. Specific, I mean, make sure yeah. it's, it's not make, like a movie or something. Yeah, lame don't like ask that. her to go to a movie. Find a live comedy show or a concert or something cool, okay? And tell her, "Hey, I've got tickets for this. Do you want to come?" And if she says no, then. Don't do it again. Don't let her. Don't don't let her screw around with you. If you uh, if if she finds out that she can push you around, then then you don't want to be in a relationship with her because she'll she'll do it until you're off in some miserable mm. state and wanting to move to New Hampshire and you say I can't because my wife won't let me. That sounds like a pretty good. I think that's good advice. I like comedy shows because uh, people react uh, in certain situations uh, differently. So if your uh, your endorphins are going, you're happy. Um, you're more likely to bond with the person you're with. Um, if you can point. make a woman laugh, you can make a woman do anything. <laughs> All right. So, Evan, what do you think about that advice? Uh, that might, I think is good advice. I think just to just be upfront about things. I honestly, this girl, I was into her a year ago, but I she was out of my league. And then she sort of approached me to go to this thing. And then I thought I took that as an invite for us to like go out more formally. And it just seems like there's some hesitation there or like she'll agree to go and then back out. Last so minute. she so, asked was, you to go out on, on some sort of a date. Initially, yeah, because I, I, I wrote her off a long time ago. So the one like, date uh, you've been on was actually initiated by her? Kind, uh, yeah, I guess. Interesting. Like, it was her... No, no woman is out of your league. Okay, you, if you if you show confidence, if you walk into the situation and take control, there's look. You might you might fail with some women. Don't get me wrong, but there it's just there's nobody's out of your league. You just have to step up and do it. Evan, thanks for I'd the agree call, with that man. statement. I appreciate it. Yeah, and I do. Good uh, luck. I, I do sort of agree that generally, some women do not like a man that's in control. Um, but and I don't want those women, and neither does he. Trust me. But I don't think that there's a difference between sort of being bold and being a jerk, right? And so you know, gotta you gotta find that line and be bold. I'm not calling you a jerk. I'm just you gotta find you the line. You can call me an a hole if you want. To, to the headline <laughs> of the website. But I'm just well, not in this instance. In this instance, I am not calling you a jerk. I'm simply saying that being bold probably has value. I'd say that that's true for women too that if you go out and you ask for what you you want and ask for what you're interested in, you're more likely to get it. It's true. Let's go to Greg. He's in New York. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Greg. Hey, how are you guys? Hey, you're on the air. Hey. Um I wanted to so the other day I called in and I wanted to talk about something else. Uh but I wanted to talk about like wealth redistribution. Okay. Uh, okay. I for am it. so like uh, you guys, I'm a libertarian, but I'm a civil libertarian. And when it comes to um, something other than civil liberties, when it comes to like economic liberties, um, I don't see it quite the same way. So I care about people's actual freedom. I care about them having actual like freedom to choose between different options. Like let's say you're at work and you are stuck in a dead end job, but you can't afford to go to school to re-educate yourself. I see that as a lack of freedom. I don't see that as like yay. Other people are, are free. They don't have to subsidize. Right, and you're willing to use force against other people to 
uh, give that person the money that they want to go to college, which of course is not a libertarian position at all. So just to clarify, you don't, you're not actually a libertarian. Uh, you only take some libertarian positions on some social issues. Well, what, what I think he described himself as was like a civil libertarian, yeah. right? So like this, we call is this, them right. liberals. Yeah, we, yeah, <laughs> leftists, right? So I mean, you know, fine. So like you like a like a, sort of like a Green Party liberal type of guy, and okay, you know, let's just pretend that that's not a a horrible thing that makes you an evil person. Let's we'll pretend that for a second. So the idea being... Well, let, let him... He's got a proposal in here. Uh, don't go off proposal? on the whole... I mean, it's just... Uh, okay, go ahead, Greg. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, so, look, I, I mean, I just don't subscribe to the idea that capitalism as a system is inherently the system that, you know, maximizes... Freedom. I don't either. I don't subscribe okay. to that either. I don't take any position on an economic system of organization. My I only do. my only position is I don't want people to use force, uh, aggressive force on other peaceful people. I don't care if a bunch of people want to be communists and have their own farm and you know grow stuff together. As long as they all agree and they're consensual, maybe they can do a better job of it than somebody calling themselves a capitalist. I don't know. I'm not going to you know place any bets on that particular thing. But as long as everybody's being peaceful with one another, then I'm fine with it. You can organize yourself however you want. But uh, anyway, go ahead. Yeah, so I'm with you there. I think people I, – I don't want people to exert force on one another. But well, yes, you do prefer. because you uh, you were advocating oh. for the wealth well, for wealth redistribution, which can only be done by force typically. Well, hold on. I don't say that I want force to be used. I'm saying that as I look around the world, people organize into different systems. There's always force. Inclu you can't get rid of the force. I would like to get rid of it, but you can't get rid of it even if you have laissez-faire capitalism. Then, then the force simply gets shifted to enforcing property rights and other things, which are also enforced. Well, there's the a difference between is... using defensive force and aggressive force. And no, so, there's not, Ian. You're sinking to their level. Don't when, you remember the earlier segment? <laughs> when you are – well, again, there's justification for defending oh, yourself. Oh, there's always a justification. I'm sorry. And uh, and you know, in the case of being up against individuals, then nobody's going to look askance at that. They're not going to think that that's a bad thing, whereas if you're up against the police, then – People have different opinions that make it un impractical. Well, so hang on, that. Greg. We'll uh, bring you back here in a moment. So, uh, yeah, if you're using aggressive force to take from others in order to take things from others and then distribute that to people you think are worthy, you know, because they want to go to school or whatever the reasoning might be, health care, etc. More coming up. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Chuck Woolery here. You know, I've talked before about Australian Dream, the effective arthritis pain relief cream that doesn't burn, isn't greasy, and has no odor. Now there's new Australian Dream back pain cream with all those great benefits. But this penetrating formula can help relieve your simple back pain. And it's backed by an empty jar guarantee. If you're not satisfied, you can send back the empty jar for a full refund. But I don't think you will, because Australian Dream really works. Don't let back pain ruin your day. Get Australian Dream back pain cream at Walgreens. It's that time of year again, and you know what that means. Cold and flu season. <coughs> but don't worry. HerbalHealer.com has you and your loved ones covered with our safe and natural products. Cold and flu fighters like beta-glucans, olive leaf antiviral capsules, grapefruit seed extract, HHA four-herb capsules, elderberry power, and respirate. And don't forget about oregacillin for the lungs, normally $34.95, on sale now for only $25. Vitamin D3, 120-count soft gels, only $9. Whole body and homeopathic detoxes for the lungs, kidneys, liver, lymph, and brain. Normally $26.95, now just $20. Herbalhealer.com also offers correspondence courses to teach you how to handle your health naturally. And as always, new customers get a free 128-page catalog with your order. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click the Winter Specials button to save on our natural cold and flu-fighting products. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. 
Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. If you want to move to the free state And you're looking for some real estate Well, I know a guy who's really great It's the realtor Mark Warden Do you want a home with 20 acres A lakeside cabin Any takers for renters Buyers and sellers too Mark Warden is the guy for you PorcupineRealEstate.com while our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want here toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. If we get the chance, I'd like to continue the story, but if we don't, we'll post it for you to uh, examine for yourself. The story by Lieutenant Daniel Furseth from DeForest, Wisconsin's police department, where he's saying he no longer cares about his fellow man. We will continue that when we get the chance. We actually got Greg on the line here, and we're going to continue with the discussion with him where he's talking about wealth redistribution, and uh, I want to get more of what he has to say about that. But also want to invite you to uh, support Free Talk Live by becoming a Free Distribute Talk Live. Distribute some wealth towards us. Amplifier. This is a voluntary <laughs> uh, choice. We would never consider forcing you to do this. But if you value what we're doing on Free Talk Live, if you like the ideas of freedom being discussed on the radio and on satellite all around the globe and around the country in the United States, then you can help us out. We can get on more radio stations. We've got 159 or so stations right now. We can have more than that. We can have three, 400, 500. It's all possible, but it takes money. It takes marketing to get our show in front of program directors around the country so they can, you know, pull the trigger and put us on the air. Um, so that takes money. Five bucks a month is all we're asking from you. You can get perks like access to the Amp Only Facebook group, the Amp Only call-in lines, the Amp Only podcast, and more. Go and get the details at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot free talk live dot com Makes and you should difference. definitely do that because the more people we get in front of like uh, the guy zach earlier uh said he was about to become a police officer and he said that free talk live saved, saved his, his life. life it stopped him from doing it so uh you know free talk live at least in that case saved hundreds of people from tickets and beatings and arrests and that sort of thing so well, they probably found somebody to take the job anyway so yeah, they uh, probably did but you know hey one at a time we got alan, we saved alan his life. what's his name to quit being a keen parking enforcer <laughs> we got this you know zach i don't know to, if we can chop free talk live up for that one but that was the robin hooders in, in keen you know, but but, the, but you can say if the guy said we saved his life then we can say we've saved his life which yeah. means that your five dollars a month could save someone's life and and this program is part of the reason bitcoin's at 350 bucks a pop right now so you know there if you, you know. uh if you got in earlier than that and you made a bunch of money you know hook us up man amp.freetalklive.com and if you got some bitcoin you want to throw towards free talk live just go to bitcoin freetalklive.com. Let's go back to Greg. Uh, Greg, you had something that you wanted to continue on with your discussion about wealth redistribution because you're saying that if somebody, for instance, is in a workaday job and they want to go to school but they can't afford it, that that means they're not free. Um, right. And, and again, I'm, I'm basically uh, just telling you my own views. Of course, you know, other people have different views. I'm just telling you what I believe. 
and and um, I and I and I sort of sympathize with him here. Right before we went to break, what he said is, "Hey, I look around the world, and it's always force, right?" And he said, "Well, it's you know, we could use the force to redistribute the wealth, or we could use it to enforce property rights." And he's not he's not wrong there. And this is you know part of why I get into arguments with people about use of force all the time, because people try to sort of like look over that part of it right that like look if we're talking about laissez-faire society that you know hey there's no initiatory force well then the force is just applied when somebody crosses a certain line and we're just talking about uh, the, the conversation that we're having with the gentleman here is just when is violence appropriate i, th- I think that that's fair enough to say right yeah I, I think i agree the most with what you just said right now it's like, listen you can't get rid of the force at least i've never seen it uh, gotten rid of and it's more about what system do you set up right in the law of fair system, you declare certain things as property right violation or other things that, that basically label your use of force as defensive. But, you know, the guy might not believe uh, in, in that conception. Well, it's too bad for him. Then he should move to another society. That sounds a lot like laws. That sounds a lot like uh, setting up a society. And I think the, a conversation should be about how can you set up a society to maximize people's actual uh, freedom from harm and freedom uh, to you know, to have as many options as they can. I've, I've got. I've, I, I think that that's a great idea. And since you described yourself as a civil libertarian, how about I pitch this to you? Okay. How sure. about right after the government stops murdering and caging innocent and peaceful people, then we'll let them tax our money and redistribute wealth and stuff? How's that sound? Uh, sure, I guess. Why not? Okay, that's <laughs> never going to happen. Right. Well, that's really sort of the, the conundrum that it comes out uh, with the state. The state, there has to be one that's on top. Right now, I would claim that Washington, D.C. essentially sort of claims to rule the world. Yeah, there's places like Holland and Belgium and places like that where you can get this more uh, egalitarian society. But none of those pretend to rule the world. And the the problem is is that when you... Uh, justify the government taking something. You justify the government taking everything. And the government will take everything. They'll take your life. And this is where I sort of get into the the problem is, is I'm against the state as a concept because they claim the monopoly privilege on the use of violence. I wish to distribute it. Okay. Well, the, I think the problem here is that we have three different conversations going. On the one hand, there's a conversation about outcomes, and we can have – that's the conversation I called in about, which is like, if you redistribute wealth, uh, what amount of redistribution maximizes freedom? Is it zero? Is it uh, – there's diminishing returns, obviously, but is it zero? And my contention is no, it's not zero. There's a second conversation with is like, okay, well, it's force. How do you get the money? That's a whole separate conversation. And a third conversation here you're saying is that the United States is going around the world and you know doing a lot of uh, things, violating well, – Not just the U.S. – in the absence of the Washington D.C.'s, um, you know, I think that there's, you know, in today's culture, there's going to be a superpower. If if a state exists, there'll be a super state, and that therefore, when you justify the, you know, one state taking one penny from one person, you have justified the super state with dropping a bomb on the whole planet and wiping out humanity because they can, because they have a, the monopoly privilege on the use of violence. I guess that's where you lose me, because like there's like there's completely two different conversations here. You see okay. all facets of the If thing. I say you give me a dollar or I'll shoot you or I'll put you in jail, and if you don't want to go to jail, I'll shoot you, then I can say you give me a million dollars or I'll put you in jail and shoot you. And if you can't but do it's that, it's a little different when the dollars themselves are, are fiction invented by the state itself. Right? Fine. I mean, state you itself give me an, you give me a gram of gold or you give me a million grams of gold. It doesn't really matter. Because it's a claim of a monopoly privilege on the use of violence it's, in a given geographic it's, it's area. The question is what the money represents here. So the, the, the question is, so, you know, money, whether it's gold or dollars or bitcoins or anything else, I mean, it's a representation of human labor. I mean, it's, it's a representation of the value that mm-hmm. one inputs into the society. So if you're taking away money, what you're doing is you're taking away labor. And we generally tend to think of forcing a person into labor as slavery. No, I, I agree. I mean, look, if we're talking about labor, because there's a lot to unpack in the other stuff. So if we're talking about human labor, let uh, set aside the question of the United States going all uh, empire on the whole world, okay? Or the USSR, or Russia, or or Nazis all these or other histories of governments who have done exactly what you're proposing and all the terrible things that happened. Okay. Well, so set aside imperialism and just talk about what system. Forget state. 
Let's talk about cities. I don't care. Talk about neighborhoods. Let's talk about New York City. You want to talk about New York City and all the wonderful things that are happening in the case of, like, Garrett Garner in Staten Island getting strangled on the streets because he didn't pay his taxes? Of course, I live in New York City, and I'm against that as a civil libertarian. Of course. Okay. But, okay. Saying, but I mean, but he didn't saying, pay his taxes. What did you think was going to happen? Uh, let, let, let's be serious. For How many for people I'm are being you willing serious? To... How many? A guy that's... got strangled on the street for not paying taxes, right. and you want taxes? Right. You're the. I mean, that's that's exactly the situation. My question for you, Greg, is how many people are you willing to see killed? Or imprisoned, because there's two categories of what will happen to people if they don't pay the tax. How many people are you willing to see killed or imprisoned for whatever percentage you decide? Because, again, your first issue was, well, what should the percentage be? Not zero, you say, but you don't think it should be too high. And then the second issue was, you know, the question about uh, you know, addressing the other thing. So uh, what should the percentage be, and how many people are you willing to kill uh, to see that happen? Well, I can answer that, but there's two. If we have two conversations at once, one about outcomes and one about the morality of taxes, well, we're, we're I'm just asking you how many people you're willing to the see. The outcome put in is a big dead black man on the street of New York. That's what the outcome is, Greg. Cantwell laid it out as clear not as day. Not, the not man refused to pay not. his taxes and he refused to go to jail. The cops killed now, him. Unfortunately. Hundreds of videos of police killing unarmed people, not just for taxes. The taxes were not. The main problem here, it's the police uh, not wearing body cameras, not being accountable. No, the and, problem and is <laughs> the body camera wouldn't have stopped this cop from killing the guy. He already knew he was on camera. Right. There was a so, videotape of it played before a grand jury who let him go because his whole entire purpose in this world is to use violence against people who disobey the edicts of politicians. Greg, you've already embraced the use of violence to enforce your system. I'm just asking how many people you're willing to kill and harm and put in prison to make sure it works. Okay, there's so many conversations going here. I'm going to just ask one question. No, the I've asked you a question. I've asked you okay, a question, and it's a very simple question. The question is? How many people are you willing to kill or imprison in order to ensure your system works? I hope, personally, not to kill a single person. Systems How about imprisoning them? Regardless, How about imprisoning them? In capitalism, you would also imprison people, sadly. I'm asking you, too, yes. how many people are you willing to imprison? I'm not, I don't need to imprison people to leave them alone, okay? If somebody violates someone else's rights, then there's an argument for imprisoning, pr imprisoning someone who's dangerous. You would be imprisoning people who don't pay taxes. So how no, many are you willing to do? How many that's lives are you willing system. to destroy? That's not the tax system that America has. It has a uh, tax. You must be ignoring what happened to Eric Garner because he didn't pay the tax and he got killed. And if he didn't get killed, he would have been put in prison. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Uh, excuse me. Is this where I get a license to start a new business? I wouldn't be hasty. You have to get a mm -hmm. license to go out of business, too, you know. Oh, well, look, I've invented this little anti-gravity machine, see? Yeah, and... Is that why you're walking two inches above the floor? <laughs> oh, yes. It's it's very comfortable. It saves on shoe leather. Yeah, well, you have to fill out these forms and report to the Human Services Department of Manpower Orientation and register with the Fair Employment Practice Commission, just the Wage wanna... and Hour Division of the Employment Standards Administration, the State Sales and Income Tax Division, the Internal Revenue Service, look, and the I Social Security Administration of the Department of Health, Education, and welfare and of course osha osha i thought that was a little town in wisconsin you'll find out say floating around like that could be dangerous have you checked with the consumer product safety commission well not yet come you see, to think of it you actually are flying aren't you look you need to go over to the federal aviation administration and the transportation it's very hard to get anything done these days if you're in business but free enterprise built this country think what could happen if we don't keep it free a public service of this station and the Center for the Defense of Free Enterprise, Bellevue, Washington. We just can't have people floating about unregulated, you know. Thanks to Bitcoin, LRN.FM is able to provide our free-to-air satellite channel across North and Central America. You can listen to LRN.FM 24-7 via satellite for no monthly cost. Learn more about our satellite channel at sat.lrn.fm. And if you'd like to help us continue to expand, you can send us Bitcoins via the address you'll find under the Bitcoin graphic in the right column of LRN.FM. To learn more about Bitcoin, visit weusecoins.com. That's weusecoins.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. 
Cop Block Radio is up next, live after the news, on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at the LibertyBeat.com.